My microphone was plugged out, but yo, what is going on, everybody? How are we all? Hopefully, we're all doing absolutely fantastic. We have 24 people in the chat. Hello, everyone. How are we all doing? We have a few new people in the chat because the chat is also going crazy. Hold up a minute. Let me try to read all the chat. Okay, we've got HL, FNAF Slow, Gray, Vanessa, Floating Clown, uh, Winter Rose, uh, Umbrella, Chris. Uh, James, Chris again, XL, S, Minecraft Gollum. Am I missing anyone? I don't know if I am. I probably am missing everyone. But and a letter from Mexico. Yo, hey everybody. How are we all doing? Uh, hopefully we're all doing absolutely fantastic. And in today's stream, it's not exactly as different uh, as what you might think. And FNAF Slug, if you're there, um, this is the stream where we're going to be re-watching all of the Walton files and breaking it down piece by piece for people who may not understand the series I'm gonna basically give you my thoughts on one what actually happens two on some theories that may happen and three probably poo my pants when we eventually get to Charles's part of bunny farm so yeah winter rose Canadian awesome uh, yo uh, what's good fool how we all doing okay so um, first of all uh, I want to just establish uh, one thing really really quickly and that is my theory with Charles um, which well which I will establish um, when we get to that part of bunny farm um, because I'm nearly a hundred percent sure I've broken down on how he actually you know perishes or becomes beautiful which is not really associated with him but you know I'm nearly a hundred percent sure I know how Charles gets taken out um, I talked about it on a previous live stream, however, I didn't go that in depth on it, but I will uh, when we actually watch it on Bunny Farm. So I'm just gonna crack open our lovely piece of caffeine, as we normally do. Thank you very much. And yeah, we're gonna get straight into it. Um, so yeah, hold up, let me have a look. I uh, just want to mention there's an extra Walton Files video in Spanish that may have some clues about what Bon is and how he was introduced. I'm pretty sure that is the 32 minutos, right? I'm pretty sure I've heard a lot of things about that and I wanted to check it out, but I know it's in Spanish, you know, so you remember me? Of course I do, Minecraft. How you doing, dude? All right, so let me just switch screens real quick and we're going straight into this. Okay, so uh, in today's stream, obviously, we're going to be watching all of the Walton Falls again. However, uh, I just want to make sure all the sounds is, is everything, you know. I think Sophie witnessed her mother's death, and that's why she's on the pills to forget. I I have had a theory about this for a while. Um, considering the you know the shadow figure that pops up uh, during uh during uh the death of sh like when Shat actually gets put into the animatronic. Well, yeah, 
it, that's the thing. With the Walton Files, it's very divisive of theories and stuff. Like, even theories I've made in the past, that it's like, yo, Cal, you have no idea what you're talking about. I'm like, sorry, man. Well, I'm just doing my best here, you know? Um, but yeah, without further ado, I'm going to go straight into this. Uh, we're going to waste no more time. Uh, I'm not going to be pausing it as much as possible, if that makes any sense. I will be obviously just reacting to the whole thing and then breaking it down, if that makes any sense. Because there is a few people in my... Um, wasn't there? There's a few people in my Discord and stuff like that who haven't exactly seen The Walton Files and kind of either have seen videos on it that are kind of confused on it. So what we're going to do is watch all the episodes through the... Oh, I actually hit my space bar. The only episode I will will be pausing through is Bunny Farm and Cyber Fun Tech Collection, which is obviously three and four. Just purely because there are the longer sides. Um, also, probably I will go through Relocate Project a little bit uh, with pausing. Um, but with episode one, there isn't too much to pause on. Like there's obviously little bits here and there, but there's not crazy amounts of um. Uh, pausing to do an episode one. I think that Shadow Man was Sophie. No, Shadow Man is uh, Felix. And I'm just going to confirm this straight away. I'm just going to open the channel in another link. Uh, if we go to the album, uh, I think it was the second album, I think. Oh, I was actually bang on with the timing. Okay, so basically, this is how we know Shadow Man is uh, Felix. Right, you ready? Just listen very closely. Listen very closely. Yeah. So there you go. There you go. Shadow Man watches from the dark. He knows he wrecked that car. Felix. So there you go. Just if anyone wanted to get that out of the way. So yeah. Um, Khan's gaming channel. I'm Bon. My bad, guys. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, hear me out on this theory. Jenny is Bon. <laughs> I don't. I don't think Jenny's going to be that big of a role. Uh, I mean, I hope. I hope it's more or less Sophie, but I feel like Jenny will get taken out. I don't know why. This is a slight suspicion that I feel like uh, Jenny will get taken out by Bon. But anyways, let's get straight into episode one. For those who haven't watched The Walton Files, just sit back and relax. If you have watched The Walton Files, leave your theories in the chat as well. So yeah, all that stuff is new. There's a lot of new things in this episode, which is a bit weird. Um, I will do my best to not pause as much as I can, though. You know? You're th you think Felix crashed a car then programmed Bond to kill people? I hope Bond just isn't a uh, messed up, to the like, tape to your new how do I put it? I hope he's not just a messed up um, you have applied to a job AI. I hope not. And maintenance. What does this job particularly mean? Oh, I wonder. You, amongst other employees, are the ones I will never get over how good the animation is from the very start of this series. From the very start of the series, this is awesome, by the way. It's hooray, it's hooray, the sun has got his hat on. This goes on for so long, by the way. This performance. But yeah, like, I've always found Boozoo to be the coolest. Like, I've said in the past, Boozoo would be my favorite of the canon characters. I don't know why. Boozoo's has always been quite cool to me. It's probably because of the Charles scene, to be honest. I'm guessing people want me to check out findjackwalton.com. Uh, I actually have checked that out that that website in a lot like in a previous stream, and we went through it for about an hour and a half. So I don't think there's much point to me checking it. You think Boozu's ghost is how he he was killed? I don't think so. I've watched Boozu's ghost before. I don't think it is. Um, I ha I haven't I have a pretty much bang on theory what have happened to Charles. And that's it. I, I just... Did that zoom in on Boozoo, or am I tripping? Oh, had a 
That's weird. It like zoomed in on him. I don't ever remember that happening. When did you first find the Walton Files? I think I found it like, oh, I found it years ago. Um, I found the Walton Files like, it was before I even got into the gym. That's how long ago it was. And I've been in the gym like three years, so probably since the start of it. These are the shows uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, uh, Brew T. I'm not looking forward to watching Bunny Farm because it always, you know, scares me, but I'm doing all right, man. How are you doing? Around this fun and magical journey wheel work on certain Also we're nearly on 2.5k subs which is nuts. Cleaning protocols. Robot maintenance and repair. Oh my god. How to use VSI technology. Robot maintenance and repair? But first here's a message from Jack Walton and Felix Cranken, our beloved found Which read? In VSI the most important thing to us Mappa is, is the go. Rating. The most important I'm the next Mappa. How many mess I'm taking the piss. Um, I didn't even like FNAF before I watched The Walton Falls. Interesting. I've followed FNAF ever since the release. I was seven years old when FNAF came out, so... This is pretty much the only piece of pausing you have to do in episode one, but yeah. This is the storage facility. This is probably one of the most integral locations in the entire series, pretty much. So, if you aren't aware, basically, after Bonds closes down, as you can see... Everything, arcade machines, animatronics, pretty much everything to do with the restaurant is chucked in here. So this is the storage facility. Um, this will be show up later on in the videos, and it's pretty much where the entire, um, pretty much the entire uh, series, especially in Relocate Project, takes place. Um, but yeah, basically anyone who's a facility caretaker has to go in here, basically. And to check on the animatronics, etc, etc. But yeah, it's pretty much just where everything is stored after it closes down. But yeah. Here's the reverse text, right? He basically says, you finally start to remember that good old day, they will come for you, Sophie. That's basically what he says, if I remember correctly. Something along the lines of that. Cheers. Oh yeah, hold on, I'm just going to pause it here. If anyone is unaware, I'm doing a charity stream on Friday. I'm going to be doing anything you can imagine anything you can imagine to do with fnaf bonds bonds burgers you know walton files and if you have anything interested with fnaf walton files bendy and the ink machine analog horror anything like that i'm gonna be doing a charity stream on friday make sure to tune in it's literally a 12 hour live stream hope you're all there but yeah i'm just gonna set that straight up anything to do with fnaf fnaf v or a or well a or not anymore because it's gone but you know what i mean v or the normal games all sorts Bond's super sleepover. It's a brand new day in Little Bond's neighborhood, and a really special one for sure. Yup. I always love Little Bond. Little, bon little Bond's so cool. All day for his friends to arrive. Bro's just he chilling, like he, he's just he's just goaded. We love Little Bond. Hashtag double W Little Bond in the chat. For this sleepover, he invited. Star, Boozy, and Billy. This is the first appearance of Billy. We don't forget any guests. Oh, and also the first appearance of that dude. Twenty-seven. Here they are. That must be them. The really funny movie. I suppose it's time for the movie night to begin. Bond spent all his money on a really really funny movie. Ooh, looks like a really funny movie if you ask me. And friends watch the movie. I guess we can say they had a blast of a time. Let me out of here. Yeah, so I just want to say this straight up, right? The let me out of here part has always confused me with the Walton Files. Because I'm 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 just saying Is Jack Walton he's in the tape or something? So I think a part of Jack Walton haunts these tapes, especially Relocate Project. 100% Relocate Project's haunted by um, uh, Jack. 
But I've never understood this scene with the let me out of here. Because this clearly takes place in 1978, right? Because obviously it says, like, Boney, Bonnie, something like that. Uh, 1978. So, it clearly, like, says something, right? So, um, I think that it's always been confused where, like, Jack is in the tapes or something. Yo, FNAF so by the way, this is the stream where we're going to be watching all the Walton Files. So, if that, you know, obviously you said you wanted to watch them. So, this is basically what we're going to be doing is watching them all. I won't be pausing them as much as other people do when they watch them. Uh, because, you know, it's a long uh, stream if we just pause it all the way through. I will pause little pieces here and there. The only ones I can't promise I will stop pausing is Bunny Farm. Bunny Farm is, like, there's so much hidden stuff in there. Um, Wouldn't it be the first appearance of everyone then? The TV says Sony. I don't think that says Sony. I think it says, I think it's basically meant as, it's Sony but with Bony. But I don't, I, I don't really feel comfortable with saying Bony, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, we're the only ones who know the whole theory of FNAF and the Walton Falls. Well, technically, there's a lot of unanswered questions in the Walton Falls, you know what I mean? But, yeah. Ah, yes, a really funny movie about a guy who goes missing after he loses his two children and fights with his best friend and becomes extremely depressed. <laughs> Fuck, Jesus. Um, the Duck 4 came out? For real, damn. But, yeah, I've never understood the let me out of here. I've, I've never, I've never understood it. It's been really, it's just really confusing to me because, like... You know, I don't know. It's just, let me out of here. Let me out of where? Out of a TV screen? I don't know. Like, he's not the thumper, is he? Unless. That, I brewed tea. Your chat right there. Can we all just appreciate that? Sophie pops up chat. I have a big theory about that. A really big theory about that. I'll elaborate in a minute. When we get to the... When we get to the certain part of the episode, I'll, I'll elaborate. I've always found this part so funny. That's FNAF footsteps. It must be a piece of lore that's been forgotten. Yeah, fair. Missing Jack Walton. Should be in the captions, no? I swear that's it was in the captions before that I was missing Jack Walton and I had the... The date in the captions. I got into Walton Falls since I feel like FNAF has been basically solved now. I feel like FNAF, the story just isn't intriguing anymore. That's why I don't make as much videos on it as I used to. And ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Can we talk about that pause, by the way? Boom. Okay. Um. So this is Sophie. If you, if you, there's a photo out here that's a little bit more clear. But that is Sophie. Now, I think, without a shadow of a doubt, it has to have happened. Sophie has encountered Bond in some way. She has to have. Because otherwise, why would Bond have killed her? Secondly, or I tried to kill her, sorry. Secondly, why is she in a uniform? And thirdly, if I go onto Twitter and I look up the Walton Falls like I did earlier... And I go to media, and I just wait two seconds, and I look at the plushies, and I zoom in on the plushies. Sophie's plushie is also wearing a purple uniform. So, at some point, Sophie wears a Bonds Burgers uniform, because that purple uniform appears not only on Brian Stell's, but also on... Um, the, in the relocate project with your uniform. So at some point, Sophie works in Bonds Burgers or for some reason as a, like a facility caretaker. She works at something to do with the place. So she has to encounter Bond when she was younger or when she was a little bit older. At some way, she has to because she has to be put on the pills for a reason. So either she saw Rosemary get killed, which would obviously be traumatic, so she got the pills for that, or... She was attacked by Bon and escaped. And, in other words, you know, tried to escape. But also, I don't think that lighter is, um, is like, just out of the blue. I think Sophie has tried to do something with, to do with fire, maybe. I don't know. But there's a, it's a lot, it's, it's a lot to actually, like, talk about. So, uh, I have a feeling when it comes to in Walton Falls 5 or 6, 
we will see Sophie encounter Bond in some way. I mean, we have to, realistically. Like, you know, it wouldn't really make much sense. But I don't think we might... We might not even see Sophie in The Wall Falls 5 or 6, purely because the whole thing I've seen with Episode 7 in next year is that it's meant to be Sophie's story continues. So there could be a possibility that Sophie won't even appear in the next two or three episodes. But yeah. Here's Brian. You still can't even understand them. Really. Unless you have headphones on. He's very quiet. There was also a missing poster for Sophie in the Season 1 trailer. Really? Was there actually a missing poster for Sophie? <laughs> Hold on. I love how I'm meant to be the whole dude who like posts about Walton Files and meant to know everything, and I didn't even know half this stuff. <laughs> hey, yo, what's good, Killer Moth, bro? How you doing, my man? But, um, yeah, I'll have to look up that Sophie. Can someone link me that Sophie missing poster, please? On Discord or something? Fact, Brian died when I was still living. Damn, that hits hard. Yeah, just establishing the, uh, the timeline. Yeah, this is all new. Fun fact, this stuff here is new. That this whole like thing here is new. This wasn't in the original video. Like that's Ed and Molly. That wasn't there before. That's Ed and Molly chilling there. Yeah, Felix just beside my face cam. You have a whole like group photo with everybody. They weren't there in the original video. It just cut right to this part. Like that, it cut straight to this part in the original video. That all photo stuff is all new. You still can't understand Brian half the time. I can't even understand them, by the way. I really don't know what he's saying. I think it was added for a reason, because there's a scene at the end of this that's really unsettling. Bro, he's starting to munch. Bond kills Sophie, so all the Walton Falls fans go into an event where they beat up Martin, who's in a Bond costume. <laughs> Let's, uh, there's Linda, Felix, Jack, Rosemary, Ed and Molly, and maybe the man who works at BSI. Probably, um, Jason Pultrick, maybe. Does anyone remember my, uh, my tear theory with the tears from Bond's eyes? Three, two, one. He didn't do it on cue. That that's new footage as well. That that's a different forest. Jason Norman. I got them mixed up. Norman Pultrick. Hey Bon. Sorry, chat, this is just a bop real quick. Can we just agree this is a bop? Can we just agree that this is low-key a bop, though? Oh, okay, that's not a bop, but you know what I'm saying? Can we all disagree on this? But yeah, I'm gonna shut up for 30 seconds so y'all can just witness this, okay? You ready for this? I'm gonna be quiet. Witness this for yourself.
That wasn't there in the original. GTA. Yeah, that is the GTA font. I just... Oh, yeah. Okay, let me explain. Um, so, basically, we're just watching the Walton Files and... Um, Basically just solving it, pretty much. Going through piece by piece information we need to watch, etc, etc, pretty much. But yeah. Um, let's have a look while I, while I was uh, being quiet there. So y'all could all um, witness that for the first time. Um, because I don't think a lot of people have re-watched the original. But yeah. I think that's Wonderland, funny fact. Um, the whole white sky. Because realistically, um, this was re-uploaded... Uh, obviously, it was uploaded three years ago. Or no, that's the, never mind. I went back. This is the relocation project. This was re-uploaded a year ago for copyright issues, right? But Martin added stuff, and we know ourselves. Like we know ourselves. Like the teaser that just came out the other day, the late night television that came out ages ago. Like I've seen that late night television show, uh, like the teaser before, and it came out like. I'm pretty sure it came out, like, way before episode 4. Like, it came out way before episode 4. You could find it for yourself. And I didn't make a video on it purely because I didn't want to make a video on it because it didn't... There wasn't much, like, story to it. And now, after re-watching episode 4 and stuff, when after that, you know, when it actually got officially released, I was like, okay, now we'll make a video on it. But I think Martin has added little things, especially to episode 1 there, to distinguish some stuff in episode 4. So I think that last part of Jack, of all of a sudden, in darkness, but a white photo, to then all of a sudden the white background, and considering, like, I don't know, it's just considering the fact that that came out a year ago, and we all know that, like, The Walton Files was being worked on, The Walton Files 4 specifically, it took a long time. So I feel like when it comes to that, I think it was just, probably leading towards jack going into wonderland possibly that's obviously just a theory but you know um what if that moving face was bond's pov i've always thought of that gray that's always been my theory until episode four came out um because when it came to episode four with the whole you know the face oh my camera's kind of glitchy uh do you know like the face recognition and like the way it would, like the face would pop up again so yeah um, but I've always thought that that little face morphing thing was always Bond ripping apart uh, Brian. But, you know. Anyways, for those who haven't seen The Walton Files, I apologize for yapping on. But we're going to watch The Relocation Project. Probably one of the better episodes. Definitely more lore-based. And also, this where it gets a little bit creepy. So, FNAF Slug, if you're in the chat, uh, prepare yourself. It's not too bad. Don't worry. I promise. Um, also, I looked at the channel that copyright strike the first episode, and that forest is either a normal one or a low... Oh, okay, lovely. I'm not going to mention that. <laughs> Ask me if you don't know something. I for real know almost everything. I even made a Walton Falls timeline slide. Ooh. I'm, I remember making a Walton Falls timeline video. I know the timeline, like the back of my hand. I don't know the back of my hand that well. But, like, you know, I know a lot of things. The only thing is... I don't know. You know the way um, I've always said this. I've said on my Discord and other videos on streams. I always hate the way I can't keep up with the A or G side of this story. Because I had no idea who Jason Pultrick was. Who Norman was. Because I never really dove into FindJackWalton.com until after episode 4. So when I first reacted to episode 4, if you go and rewatch my reaction, you see me going, oh my god, Norman, who this is a new character, new character. And all the comments are just, this is a character revealed ages ago. And I feel like a dumbass whenever I say that. So yeah, um, there is a few characters where I will think they're new, but they popped up in jackwalton.com and I just won't remember it. Um... But yeah, uh, without further ado, we're going to get straight into the Relocate Project. I know this is a lot of people's favorite episode, and obviously it's really obvious why it would be. But let's get into it. And the first uh, part of the video should be right here in 5, 4, 3, 2, uno, zero. Right here. Right here. I think. I think. It could be either here or down the bottom. It's one right here. Wait for it. It's gonna flash. Look here, everybody. It's flashing. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's coming. It's coming right now. There it is! Oh, the pool tricks do matter. 
I think the pool tricks are really. I think they're. Hello, yeah, I think they do matter, all right. And employees, and welcome to the taste of we'll talk about the them in episode four. The brand and the Bunny Smiles Company for the better. Oh That's hell yeah! Right. After four long years of legal paperwork, we finally decided. Bro, he's so adorable. To use our backup plan, which we yeah, the box. The closure of Bonds Burgers back on July twentieth, nineteen seventy-four. Uh huh. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present to you the relocate. So this is by now everybody is dead. By the way, you have a sharp plush. You're so lucky. Look at him, dude. That's just. Look at him. Look at him, bro. Let's start analyzing the relocate project by checking what has. I've always actually been intrigued to see this. Can we? I don't. I can't really read signatures. Can we make out who is who that signature is under Bond's hand? You know what I mean. I've always thought that. Like, I'm pretty sure that says M W. So Martin Walls. But like, I've always thought. Does that say like cranking? Maybe because I think that looks like an F. But I don't know. Has happened ever since the closure of Bond. He's so silly ago. for real. As many of you might have known from previous. Days, There's Chris. That's Chris, everybody. There's Chris, just beside my finger. The there he is. That's Chris, according to the wiki. But yeah, I, I, I think Later that's Jack on, driving the, the car. And also, there's another thing. Um, but yeah, I've I've only just been told this recently, right? But if we pay attention here, right, and we go frame by frame on this scene right here, look at the TV. Are you ready for this? Look at this, right? So if we go frame by frame, and we pay attention to the TV, look, there's like someone moving in behind Shah and Bon. You know? And going off... Oh, I didn't mean to mute it. Going off this... I think it could be Felix or Jack. Because the way I might think it's Felix is because it doesn't look like they have long hair. If you get me, yes, Ducky is canon. Uh, but, like, if you can see, like, it doesn't exactly look like they have long hair until you get to here. It kind of looks like long hair here. But, like, yeah, it could be anyone. It could even be Ashley, like. Oh, hold on a minute, that eye. It is Ashley. Oh, hold on a minute. That's Ashley. That That's Ashley. Do you want to know why? That eyeball. That eyeball right there. Okay, can someone remember to go back to this scene after we finish this episode? Because that's Ashley. That's Ashley. There's a specific part of um, that, this video that looks exactly like Ashley there with her eye. I'll go back to it. Yeah. It's weird how they use the same photo that just cuts off Jack. I know a lot of people were like, definitely Jack, but see, the thing is... Wait for one second, we'll let this, let, we'll let this play out. Damn. I love... Can I actually... You know, I've always wanted to do this. Can I brighten this up just for the sake of scares? Um, but basically... Just for the, just for the sake of uh, spookiness. Can I edit... No, I don't think I can. Hold on. Let me just save this real quick. Save. Yes. And let me just pause. Alright, let me let me just... For the sake of spookiness... I, I, I wanna... I wanna uh, just... Just for the sake of the spooks. It looks like Bond. Yeah, I guess. But also, I, I want to go into... Um, why I think it's Ashley after, but yeah, I just want to do this for the spooks. Uh, do 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 do. Edit photo. Brightness up. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's so weird. Let me see. Uh, exposure there. No sharpness. Clarity. Yeah, look at him. You can see his eyes. I've always found that so creepy. I've always found that so creepy. But yeah. Anyways, we'll, we'll just quickly move on. I always love doing that with that scene. It's such a cool effect. But now, see, we've jumped all the way back to 78. So we were in... we were No, no, we were already in 78. Sorry. My bad. I thought we were in 82, but... Yo, what's good, man? Welcome to all the new people in the chat. I appreciate it. You can't make an omelette without any breaking a few eggs. Facts. Yo, registered. Thank you so much for the sub. I don't know about the, the, the account name, but yeah, I appreciate the sub. <laughs> but yeah, welcome to everyone who is uh, new in the chat. I really do appreciate it. If you do like uh, any sort of content to do a horror, 
hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. We're closing in on 3k subs. We're only like five, 500 away or something. So it's kind of insane when I look at it that way. But if you if you like analog horror or anything, hit that subscribe button. Your favorite Walton Foss episode is Boozoo's Ghosts. I can I can respect that. I can definitely respect that. I've I'll be real, right? I've never found this part scary. Is that might just be me? And I hope if anyone does find this scary, me yapping behind it is you know, uh, l l moving it a little bit. Not scary. FNAF slug, how you doing? I wonder how FNAF slug is reacting to all this. Actually, I'm very intrigued. Because FNAF still hasn't seen the Walton Falls before. Hiya, Susan. Waltoning the files, for real. Also, fun fact, if you get me to 3k subs, I have to cosplay as Boozu. So if you want to see that, you know. Hey, yo, Bonnie, don't look at me like that, bro. I'm not scared. Yo, Carmelo, thank you for the sub. Channel egg. Oh, you've got um, Bobby Bear Hug. Do you reckon the mighty rabbit needs to get out? Do you reckon? The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. The Same. Rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. Me when the rabbit is starving. My ears. <laughs> oh my god, there's a lot of chats. I'm gonna pause this for the sake of my ears. As someone who gets scared very is easily, I never watch analog horror without commentary. Well, hey, if you like analog horror, I'm your best mate for that. I think the rabbit is starving. <laughs> no, um, I'm a, I want to go back on the smiling bit for a sec. Because, like, can we talk about Susan's face here with the mouth? Specifically the mouth. Look how creepy she looks with the smile. Look how creepy that actually is. But you never really get a look of it. Because... You know, obviously, it goes, like, flash straight away. But can we just talk about how creepy that face actually is? Like, that is a terrifying face when you actually look at it. The rabbit might be starving. Quite possibly. We don't know right now. But the, the, the mighty rabbit quite possibly could be starving. Just quite possibly. By the way, for anyone who hasn't seen the Walton Falls before, I apologize if I'm pausing it too much. I'm doing my best to not pause it. That's not scary. It's just the music, I guess. I feel like Bunny Farm, obviously, there. Oh my god, I didn't, I didn't actually realize how clear that is on OBS. When I look at my monitor screen, um. When I look at my monitor screen, that's very blurry for, like, the actual thing. On OBS, I can clearly see that says Susan Wooding's last scene. Um, is it June 30th, 1974? I can very clearly see that. And, like, in the past, I remember having to, like, uh, brighten that up and stuff. That's so clear on OBS compared to the actual thing, which is a bit nuts. Um, okay, can we get a W in the chat for Jersey? For who said Boozoo's scene in Bunny Farm is by far the scariest. Uh, I too have been traumatized ever since I've watched that scene. I too have been traumatized. Um, but yeah, f speaking of Boozoo, um, for those who are new in the stream, if you get me to 3,000 subscribers, right? 3,000, which we are 500 away, I have to cosplay as Boozoo. So, if you want to see me embarrass myself and probably, you know, just embarrass myself, there you go. Do you know that Bond hides in the trees and Bunny Farm happens at Bannies and the Horse Girl scenes? I do. I have seen that. Trust me, I'm obsessed with this series. I have pretty much seen everything. Near enough. When it comes to the series on YouTube, I near enough know about everything. There obviously will be a little bit pieces here and there that I won't know. But there's little pieces that I do know everything, you know. I love the part when the rabbit said it's starving time and starved everywhere. <laughs> 
Forest Part 2, yeah. Missing se uh, 014 set. Was it 014 7 or 0714? I think it's 0714, right? Something like that. Why do YouTubers not you still confuse Jack with literally everyone? Yeah, I, I, I've noticed that actually when rewatching some people's reactions to it. But yeah, there's the uh, the purple uniform, which Sophie is wearing in her new plushie coming out. So it's a bit weird, you know? So obviously she's worn this. Brian. Yeah, there's a lot of hidden things in episode 4. Hello. I see you made it hey, Bon. Look how cute he is, bro. We, we need a little Bon plush. Can we all just establish that? We need a plush with little Bon. That's a fact. We need a little Bon plush. Oh, I knew people were going to start saying purple guy. In Ro oh, God. Rosemary screams. Oh, don't get me started. Notice how we get the key. We get the key. And we also have a, a visitor in our backpack. For whatever reason. <laughs> Rosemary screams in episode 3 with a scary. So I would assume those are the same screams or similar will be in episode 5. I hope not for the sake of my own sleep schedule. Thanks, Sha. I will turn on the light. It's important to keep track of which rooms you enter. This place can be really tricky. Wait, you could get lost. have you seen how Bon appears it's watching Susan through episode room. 4? You can sit down, rest, talk with coworkers. Not necessarily. Remember to always keep this room as clean and organized as possible. A clean environment helps well. you get tasks done faster. A dirty environment only makes your job harder to get done. Now, I've always said this, right? Are we going to assume this is Shadow Man? Yeah, because a shadow figure, I think that's obviously the obvious answer. But I've always thought this could be Sophie coming into the K9 with Rosemary. Or to the location with Rosemary. You know? I've always thought that that could be Sophie because the whole thing with Sophie, where am I? Which will pop up in a bit. Um, You know, I've always said like, yo, how does Sophie... Like, what actually happens to Sophie to make her have get on the pills? Because obviously her whole family goes missing. Like, she's not going to hardly... She's hardly going to wake up one morning and her mum is just not in the house and missing all of a sudden when she's seen her that evening. If that makes any sense, like, do we think? I don't know. It's not going to home alone, Sophie, is it? I don't know. All right, this is the main hall of the place. Front of you, you I'm convinced the someone's in area. room three, by the, the way. Someone's in room three, 100%. Take care. What else is in here again? Take care with the rocket. Anything else? Bonds. I can't make out what that says. Bonds. Oh, it says Bonds Burgers, I think. And a few watches and then a plushie of Boozy and stuff. How old was Sophie? I think she was like, I think it was established she was like 14. No, hold on, no, because in 82, oh, let me do my maths real quick. She's like 22 in, um, she's 22 in Bunny Farm, right? And that's in 82. So if we do, if we do 82 minus 74, she was 8 years old. Wait, that makes no sense. That is, that's not what I'm saying. There's an eight-year gap, so if she's 22 minus eight, she would have been 14. So I was right. I think she was 22 in Bunny Farm, I think. But Jenny's 26, so she could be 24 in Bunny Farm. I don't know. She's around, like, 14 to 16, that sort of area, I think. Um, oh, I missed a lot of it. Okay. Um, the, fe the fact Felix was invested money in colors and modern designs is because the color purple started to exist in the 50s, and this color was expensive as heck. Damn. I don't pay attention to history class, clearly. Um, part of me doubts it's Sophie because I feel like Bond has an accomplice. True. I feel like she will as well. Or, uh, Bond will as well. Somebody probably got killed in room three, probably. Could be, Cr no, not Chris. Could be, yeah, uh, where Brian is. I know at this stage in the tape, Brian isn't there, but I feel like Brian might be in room three at this point. Like, realistically, Bond's not going to just leave Brian dead in the woods to be found by the police. Because he, it's clearly, it, it's said in uh, Bunny Farm that Brian isn't found, so. In a Bond's Burgers restaurant. The but yeah. Door is used to hide. 
Room, th the third door is used to hide blanks off. Reverse text. Now, I'm pretty sure that says, uh, when, no, it's, it's to do with Rosemary, like, with her husband. I know that, I can't actually remember what that says. Yo, what's good, Co? What's good, man? Shadowy boy. The reason I feel like the shadow is in the compass is because of how uh, ominous as hell it looks. Fair. I don't think it's Brian. His first, uh, it was his first day in the first episode. I mean, Brian, like, realistically, Bon has to have done something to Brian. Whether they'll introduce Pete the Hippo being an actual animatronic, which I highly doubt. You know, the bunny farm with the horse and the hippo. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, maybe Bon hit his body in the river. Possibly. Yo, Galaxon, thank you so much for the sub, man. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. I, I, I mean, like, I feel like it's definitely has to do with Brian being hidden somewhere. Because it's said that Brian isn't found, so. Right now, you are in the main yeah, now we're in the basement, area. lovely. See, this is the room where we storage more important items such as stages, tables, arcade machines, and birthday props. Also, is that a new character? That looks like a, that looks like a uh, chipmunk or something. I don't know. Uh, question, why did Bond stuff Ashley even though she had no ties to Walton's or Crankins? She saw what she shouldn't. It's it's in it's at the end of the episode. It's like she saw something she wasn't supposed to see. That's why. Uh, do you think that when she, Charles and Susan were working on the animatronics and were talking about the facial scanning feature and how the animatronics were having a hard time recognizing people, ha hard time recognizing Sophie, do you? Possibly. Possibly. Uh, da, 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 da. Felix is definitely sh yeah. Felix is uh, Shadow Man. High chance it's Chris because we see him putting something in the van and Bunny Farm. I heard Chris is uh, is showing up in episode seven. That's what I was hearing. Apparently Chris is gonna show up there. That's Banny. That does not look like Banny. I'll be real. That looks like an orange bunny. Please Pumpkin rabbit confirmed. I know he's yellow. By the way, I know he's yellow. I always found it weird how Banny looks in this part. Oh, like, uh, I don't know. I also thought something always happened there, but clearly. There's the figure. There's the figure right there. And then, boom. Right here, we'll see Rosemary. There he is. That Sophie where am I part always weirded me out. Because we're not we're not viewing this as Sophie, are we? I don't know. Do the mods allow you to swear in live chat? I just don't really swear on channel, to be honest. I try to keep... Okay, I'm just going to... Before anything happens here. I do my best to not swear on the channel because the stuff I watch already isn't really child-friendly. So I don't feel like why I sh like I feel that like I should be somewhat child friendly if that makes any sense. Um, is that not Banny's design from the rabbit starving part? Yeah, it is. But I, I just found like it's weird how they look, you know. Um. Oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! But yeah, I just don't really swear. Sometimes I will when I'm go when I see something for the first time. Like oh damn, you know. So I don't know. Speaking of not family friendly. <laughs> There. This scene. I've talked about this in my Discord about 20 million times. FNAF Slug will tell you. I waffle on about this part right here all the time in my Discord because I'm so convinced that this could be Sophie. But it's very... Like, the thing is, right? I know it's Shadow Man, but I want it to be Sophie in a way because, look, there's the tears of Bond. If you know my, my tear theory with Bond being Jack, I don't know. I'll, I'll shut up. But yeah. When she woke up, she looked beautiful. She hit the. But on the inside, you waffle on about all of it, what do you mean? Yeah, fair. I waffle on about everything. FNAF Slug, how you finding it so far, by the way? It's not too scary, I told you, right? Uh, if this tape employee should watch and Sophie may end up working here, it could be a chance. Yeah, true. There's Rosemary's missing poster. I never realized how clear it was. Okay, this is the part where I need to go back to the start of the video with Ashley, right? This is the part, right? So, notice her eyeball. 
All right, notice just her eyeball. That's all I want you to focus on in the chat. Look at her eyeball. That's all I want you to focus on. Just her eyeball. Just focus on her eyeball, right? Look here. Actually, no, it's probably gone past. It's probably gone past. That's all I want to focus on is the is the eyeball, right? That's all I want you to focus on. That's all it is. Just the eyeball. Now, where does this thing go past again? There. You see that part? Do you see the lash? Does anyone see the lash of the eye? I don't know because I don't know what you can see because obviously I don't know how close you are up to your screen when you watch this. But I can clearly see on my monitor the eyeball and it kind of looks like a lash. Hold on, I'm going to see if I can do this real quick. Let me duplicate the link. I don't know if, uh, if anything, anyone can see that at the same time as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back and open two uh, parts of it. And I'm going to fast forward to the Ashley part here. Where is it? This photo. But does any does anyone kind of see where I'm on about with the eyeball? And I'm just going to make a little uh, screenshot of her eyes like so. And then if I reopen that and just zoom in like so. And I now I zoom in. And I go here. And I make that full screen. And there. Do you see the way the eye here? If I can kind of... If I can kind of get it like that. See, so you have the eye there and you have the eye here. It looks kind of similar with the eyelash. I don't know how clear that is for people on stream. But for me, that kind of looks similar. I don't know. But yeah. But yeah, the, the the link to my Discord is in the uh, description, by the way. Let me skip forward then to the this part. All right. Captions around, we're back. All right, but yeah. If you don't see it, it's fair. But to me, that's just my opinion. I, I can kind of see similarities. Uh, a floating clown. What the clown say? Go to 8, 50, oh, 8 16 when the camera starts panning to the left while Bond here. Is that on episode 4, right? I'm picking up what you're putting down. Along with the white bond. It feels weird because back then the company didn't really worry about hiring night guards. But yeah, the police chose to actually keep you up pretty extreme to screen you as a adult woman. I wonder who that was. Also, I saw FNAF, saw, FNAF so said she, wa she wasn't scared yet. Do you see what I mean? I told you it's not too bad. Like this, the only one I will say is scary is Bunny Farm. Bunny Farm is the only one that actually really scared me. But in fairness, on first watch, the whole series first watching it, I was terrified. L movie take, by the way. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is barely in the forest. Don't you think I should take some time? I mean, There's a giant rocket puppet, so my question is who built it and why in episode 4, Susan and Charles hate rocket. We know Felix hates him as well, so I'm confused with that. Uh, Felix hates rocket because of episode 4. I could watch these two before I go to bed. Yeah, no. This this one, like you could easily watch. Like Episode 1 and 2 are not that scary. It's it's Bunny Farm that's waiting for you. That's the one. Bunny Farm, like, Bunny Farm is like that one Austin Powers villain who like goes, "I've been waiting for you." If you know, you know. See, the thing is, with Bunny Farm, I feel like it won't be nearly as scary with me waffling over it, because I'll not, I'll normally crack a joke or I'll tell you, "Oh, here it comes." With Bunny Farm, when you watch it on your own, you don't expect it. That's just my opinion, but Bunny Farm's always been probably my, my favorite episode in the canon I mean, ones, probably. But then again, you could ask me next week and I'll say Cyber Fun Tech is better, you know? I mean, my opinion changes all the time with Walton Falls. Exactly. It has to be pretty interesting. Maybe, but we're, uh, we're out of time. You just hope on finishing the robot by tomorrow. Right. Good night. Bunny Farm walks so Orp oh, could run. <laughs> Epic question Do you think Jack is de he's dead? 100% Jack is dead. I will not be giving a warning to anything in Bunny Farm, by the way. I will not be saying nothing. I will 
I will do my best to nothing. Yeah, we hope we can go I also, I've always found that video photo of Bond scary, by the way. So weird looking. Uh, yo, man, I recently discovered your channel, and I after uh, watching a re-uploaded stream, I decided to stay. You're doing great. Yo, bro, I appreciate that so much. No, it's genuinely, the amount of support y'all have been giving me is, is genuinely crazy. I love you all. It actually means so much to me. Can we get a W in the chat for Squishy with that W opinion? The Mysterious House is the goated episode. Fair enough. General Hamburger, W name by the way. But yeah, that opinion is very valid. Bunny Farm is the third most scary. It is very long, but I, I like the way it's long. It keeps you hooked, in my opinion. Turn the video up a little. You're going to regret saying that. When we get to Bunny Farm, you're going to regret saying that. I'm just going to say that straight up. When we get to Bunny Farm, you're going to regret telling me to turn it up. I'll do my best to not pause Bunny Farm, but I can't promise you that. I can't promise that I'm not going to pause Bunny Farm, you know. I'm not going to promise it. Ashley's dumb. It's just a common, common horror movie stuff. There's a um, fun time, Freddy. <laughs> Wait, what? Who's getting timed out for what? FNAF slug? What happened? There's Rocket. I'm not even sure if the face is Bond because one of he says, "I know you're like to fix things." That means you watch. Yeah, fair. What is Bunny Farm episode three? Wait, FNAF slug. Why is someone getting timed out? Oh, there's a lot of people in the chat. Damn, I'm trying to keep up with what's said. Uh, everyone who's possessed the haunted arcade cabinet. Uh, probably just everybody. I don't. I just don't know. Oh, because he said to turn it up. Oh, okay, fair. But here you go. I'll, I'll be quiet. Enjoy. I won't go close to him. I won't. Oh my God, we have a hundred people in the chat. Let me screenshot that before it goes away. God damn it, it switched. <laughs> I wanted to get a screenshot of the 100 people in chat. Damn. Oh, it's going to happen while, I'm, while this part is playing, isn't it? 100 people popped into chat, by the way. I think she's having fun. Yo, Louise, thank you so much. That means the world. Hello. I hope you have an amazing day. Can you sing me a song? Uh, unless it's Mr. Brightside, no. I reckon she'll recover, chap. I re I reckon Ashley will recover. But yeah. But I'll, obviously there's one thing I have to... Oh, I thought I was going to pause on the right time. I was one frame away. God damn it. But yeah. They left the next day. They thought Ashley left early, but she was in the back door screaming as much as she could, but no one heard the screams. The following days, the caretakers would complain about an awful smell coming from the back door's company. Decided to shut down the facility until new advice. The relocation project was unsuccessful. Ashley is still there, but she's not screaming any anymore. She saw something she wasn't supposed to see, and now she's beautiful, she's beautiful, she's beautiful, she's beautiful. Percy, I think she could have walked it off, but you know, hey-ho. 
Everyone, oh my god, 102 viewers in the chat. Oh my god, I need to get the screenshot, please. Yes! Oh my god, I got the screenshot. 102 people, A's. 102 peeps. Welcome all. Welcome all. But yeah, I tell. Hold on, let me do the squishy. I'm going to do squishy comment in a British accent. Tis only a scratch. Come on, Ashley, you're fine. Tis only a scratch. <laughs> okay, hold up. Uh, you reckon she'll recover? Ah, yeah, she'd be grand. She'd be grand. Just walk, like, exactly, the chat is saying it. Like, just walk it off. Just walk it off. For real, like. Um, wait, is Evil Man the guy who went drunk driving and killed two children? Possibly. Possibly. Uh, but, yeah, basically, um, for it, I remember someone was wondering why Bon picked off Ashley out of nowhere. That is the reason. Um, she was, she saw something, she, oh my god, it's nearly 110, um, she saw something she wasn't supposed to see, so basically, she saw Billy, and she heard the tape, and I feel that, like, I don't know, it's a bit weird how Bond all of a sudden was activated, you know what I mean, like, all of a sudden Bond's like, you know what, I'm tired of being relocated on my project, let's go, bang, kill her, you know what I mean, as an Irish people, I know a real British man, I'm actually an Irish person, so yeah, that, it, I guess so. But yeah, there's the other part of that YouTube link, by the way. But I'll let this play out. Do, 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 do. Someday I will be there in that voice acting spot. Someday, if the if if God if if God allows me to be successful in life, which I'm sure He will, I will be in that voice actor spot one day. Ba ba bo. Oh, Bunny farm. Okay. Uh. Well, I think it's only fair if we watch the um, the hidden videos, right? There should there should be a um, a playlist, right? The Walton Files. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. There it is. I'll just, I might as well just do this. But yeah. Uh. Here's Lucky You. So. Are you trying to grow your? Uh. Not exactly. Um. But yeah. Uh. I think he's gotta pretend he's still a bot. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, okay, I have to read a lot of chat. I missed a lot of things. Um, do, 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 do. go and face the music, Ashley. <laughs> I think Sophie was to go into Billy. I think so as well. I feel like that could definitely have been the case. Um, I'm just going to scroll through the chat for a minute. Um, hold up. Ashley's happy hour. Yeah, that's the music. It's nuts how that's called. That's the music name. It's a bit mad how, um, all of a sudden, like, that's the name of, like, uh, that music behind it. Um, let's have a look. My personal headcanon is that Jack Walton isn't Bond, but he's spring trapped and William Afton is the true Walton file. <laughs> That's one of the most random comments I've ever seen. Um, there's a long list of play. There's a long playlist of 50 videos too with all the teasers and stuff. I might have to. Uh, I might have to look at that as well. But here is uh, Lucky You. So that this is when you combine the two links together and you get this video. Hold on. Uh, so Showbear was completely retconned, or is he just dead now? Yeah, apparently Showbear has been retconned. I wonder how the em how many employees died at that restaurant. In Spectacle, it's kind of implied that there were many more than just Brian and Ashley. I think so as well. Um, someone, uh, she was just she was uh, being ripped apart by Bond for an hour. I mean, personally, I think she could have walked it off. Who do you think, got, who do you think uh, Bond is? It can't be Felix, that's for sure. It's also unlikely Jack is fascinated with animatronics like Bond is. Uh, I mean, the the obvious answer that I guarantee you will turn out to be the case is that it's Norman Pooltrick. Or they'll just do the simple thing where it's the cyber fun console has been tampered with. That's the two answers that I feel are going to be most prominent. Also, did Bond flash away quite quickly there? Is that just me? I don't know if that was just me, but Bond seemed to cut away very quickly there. So I'm just going to go back frame by frame, just in case. Um, but yeah, I felt like he flashed away very quickly. Yeah, weird. But yeah, I feel like we have to know like something to do with Bond. Um, there's a reason why I feel like it could be Jason, or not Jason, Norman Piltrick. Um, or Jason, it could be either. Um, is because of episode 4, at the very end, we see someone standing in Wonderland, and he looks like no one we've ever seen before. So, I don't know. Maybe it's Jack and Norman, or Jack and Jason Pultrick. I don't know. It could be actually any of them, to be honest. I don't know. It's very, um, contradicting. 
That's the where I'd put it. But I don't. It could. It might not be Norman just because of episode four with the with the letter of Susan going missing. You know, I don't know. Could be Jason, I guess. I'm pretty sure Jason Putrick's dead though. Doesn't it? Obviously, doesn't exclude him from being Bond though. Technically, because no one's exactly dead in this series, are they? You must be so confused about what you saw. Don't be scared, my little bunny. Answer. Do you think that the way Bond says "Don't be scared, my little bunny" is that the way you have him calling us his kittens? We'll be given but don't try Just to a thought. Only with the it's an intrusive so thought, but you know. This is only the beginning, for I'm going to tell you a story of broken people, beautiful people. He is so sorry about. Yeah, what he did it to clearly them, mentions that he is do. so sorry. Remember that. However, pills, so I'm just gonna pause this for two seconds because music starts blaring. The way he says he is so sorry about what he did to them, that could mean either um, what who Bond is, he's sorry about what he done, or it's to do with Felix killing Adam Molly. It's one or the other. Bond is a Discord mod. God damn it. See the way the forest is different? Well, yeah, he is dead, but then again, Bond seems to be dead for a long while. Yeah. Jason died in 1952. Yeah, I know that's why Norman took over. Safety and pills. Sophie. Jason died way early before Bond's were. Yeah, it is unlikely. Yeah, you don't exist anymore, Sophie. apparently. Safety and pills. Sophie. There's the first uh, look at, well, second Sophie. look at the pills if you pay attention in episode one. Da, da, da. Oh, can't you see? There's an eyeball. Da, da, da. Oh my god, floating clown, that's crazy. It's the Ave, Ave. I'm loving you and loving always. This is so loud, by the way. My ears are getting bond right now. They do boogie down. They got hit with a boogie bomb. Jenny is Bond, by the way. Yeah, they are beautiful. They are beautiful. They are beautiful. They will see you soon, Sophie. I love music like that. Oh, I'm... Tw Notice what part I've skipped to, by the way. Look what part I'm on on Bunny Farm. Look, look at anyone who's seen Bunny Farm. We know who that is. Okay, let's go back. But yeah. So, uh, FNAF Slug, the person who I, I know who hasn't seen Bunny Farm. Oh, be prepared. We're going to be here for a while. Uh, but yeah, are we all ready to sit back, relax, and watch Bunny Farm, the most lore dense of the Walton Falls episode. Technically, if uh, if you don't include um, Walton Falls Four, um, but yeah, we are. Are we ready? Hey, Hardu, could you please look up the Walton Falls unused content? It should be a video with Bon uh, in front of it, blurred out, and it shows loads of unused stuff. You have to get to the end. All right, bet I'll look at that after we watch everything. Mentally prepared? I'm not even mentally prepared. I mean, I've watched this about twenty million times, bro. I watch this millions of times, but it still scares me because there's still little hidden things. Um, childhood trauma time, honestly, facts. I I don't even know. I don't think I ever recorded. Right? I don't think I done. This channel didn't exist when I first watched. Um, uh, when I first watched the Walton Files, and I'm pissed I didn't because I wish I had my reaction to Boozoo's part, like the first watching on clips, because honestly, it'd be crazy. Um, hold on, let me go through some of the stuff. Do we know where the bear got retconned? Um, uh, my, co the context I was informed of was the artist who made, uh, Show Bear left the project. And technically, since Show Bear wasn't shown to be a specific person, um, they just kind of got rid of him. My guess is that he would have been a part of Jack, though. I feel like Jack's spirit was split in two. I don't know how. But hey, it happens in FNAF, so I don't know. But we're going to get our snacks, 
our blankies, as Jen Ali has just informed us. We're going to get our snacks and blankies. We are watching the farm once again. Yes, we are. Um, by the way, there's a frame of the Walton Falls 4 where you see Bond in pain, but I forgot the frame. Good luck. Bro, I'll be real. That's like asking me. You know what? When Boozoo's part happens, these are going on. Because I know I look like one of the the mice in Shrek. Okay, I'm going to just do this for the sake of a clip. <laughs> uh, mice in Shrek. You know those mice in Shrek? If you've seen Shrek, you know those mice, right? I got these glasses specifically for this. Are you ready? Let me, let me just do this real quick. I got these glasses specifically for this clip. Watch this. You ready? No, I just look like one. Oh, I just moved that completely by accident. Uh, but yeah, I, I didn't realize until after I bought these how much I look like one of the blind mice out of Shrek. I, I didn't realize. I made, a, like, I made a very bad judgment. I just realized how far out that is on my uh, camera. That is really annoying me. There we go. Get rid of that. Who, bro, who doesn't love Shrek? Shrek is goated. As common memes would say, Shrek is goaded, Shrek is, uh, Shrek is uh, love, Shrek is life, if you know, you know. Uh, but yeah. But basically, if that doesn't deserve a sub, bro, don't just say where's the difference. <laughs> so yeah, if th that deserves a sub, because I just poked myself in the eye. Haha, -ha, get it? There's actually no joke behind that. I don't even know why I said get it. Anyways. um, But yeah. Let's continue, and let's watch Bunny Farm. This is what I mean about the pausing, by the way. Look how much stuff pops up here. Yep. There's also parts of episode 4 in there. Fun fact. Yep. It's like a recap. It's like previously on the Walton Files. Yep. 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 That's in episode 4. That part of Shah was in episode 4. Yep. Yep, Bond dancing, oh my god, it's everything flashing before my eyeballs. Yep, yep, all right, uh-huh, yep, oh, okay, there's a lot of stuff going on, oh, here we go, and there was a first part of a new uh, YouTube video in the bottom left. That that one in the bottom left, yeah, she's 22, yeah, so she would have been 14. And there's Jenny, sure, Jenny's 24 then, or is she 26? Yeah, she's 26, yeah. I first watched this with my younger brother. Hmm, I reckon I could go all through that in about 10 minutes, 30 if I'm explaining it all. That's like a lot of repeats. Yeah, it's a lot of repeats, but there's some new stuff in there. It's me again. Yo, it's good unknown. Uh, this is random, but it's interesting to me why Sophie can seem to remember so much about her mother, but nothing about her father. Because I, I'm i pretty sure uh, we're going to... What's the name of it? I, I think we'll be, uh, that will be established in episode 5, actually. And a YouTube video. Jeez. <laughs> this Bond's face... Oh, hold on. This is a bop right now. Ready, ready? Yeah, it's a bop. This is the game I wanted to show you, Sophie. Ten <laughs> books that Jenny's gonna die, yeah, probably. Yeah, I played it for a while. Uh, am I only one that thinks the Wall Falls is better than FNAF and storytelling? Also, yeah, uh, they you, you probably would be. Yeah, it is the better than storytelling so in FNAF. Ago, so please try to be careful. The janitor told me these are hella expensive. My eyes actually sore and after wearing too. those glasses. Oh, I see. So, do I start the game? Yeah, let's go. I'm not gonna say nothing. Right, so you gotta choose a name now. <laughs> I see your name Chris. over there. Yes, I immediately said something. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Is that you played the game from scratch. I see. Uh, yeah, apparently Jack just was then. never at home. He was always in the work place, so. so. The song is actually Fuck. SOS in Morse code? Shit, oh, I damn. Go back. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> I'm back, what did I miss? Uh, General Hamburger, you missed um, us bopping out to Bunny Farm music. It's about it, really. All right, gang, gather around. What is it, Mr. B? FNAF is good up until yeah, the Steel Wool era. Oh, don't tell me you guys forgot about today. Dub. Any oh, oh, I know, so I many know, flashes. Please, I know, so I many see. flashes. Anyone else aside from Banny? <sighs> All right, Danny. FNAF 6, what in my mind, ended... Yeah, that's Daddy, where it ended in my house. Today is the annual fruit festival. My house, we FNAF 6, ended party there. On the restaurant every year. Oh, I forgot about that. 
Oh, heaven, me too. Well, I'm sure this party is much better than last year's, right? I wow. love Shah's accent, the way she goes, right? No, do you know what the end in Bunny Farm during this scene? Uh, where she goes, oh, I finished all my tasks. I love her accent there. It's amazing. <clears throat> okay, let me read some of the chat because I there's not much stuff happens here. But uh, da, 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 da. Soapy in the house off a real. I love how General Hamburger said FNAF 3 and Sister Location kind of suck. And they're like one of my favorite ones. Well, I said Sister Location is probably one of my lower ones. But FNAF 3 is up there with my favorites. Yeah, the voice acting's here. Uh, Sophie doesn't remember much about Jack because he was a workaholic and he disappeared earlier than her mom and she started taking the pills after her family got got. Yeah, fair. I like the mimic story and the whole uh, Tales lore, but the actual game. You like the mimic? I'm, not even, I'm messing. But yeah, I don't like the mimic. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, where is it? Who's called Meow? Uh, Jack being in random places throughout the uh, throughout scares the hell out of me. His creepy picture in the back. Hey, my bro is cute, right? I Leave Jack alone. You your fruits in <laughs> but no, I get what you mean. You guys love fruits, right? Uh, no. Ah, that's fair. Oh, hey, I, I, I like FNAF 3. So this location gets oh, on my no. nerves sometimes. Night, night 4 Mr. gets B? on my nerves. Oh, you dumb commanders. <laughs> he imports us. Oh. Anyone else think Bond was just gonna say like you dumb swear word? Well, Anyone I can else? Help but notice you guys need fruits real quick. Pizza Hippo is so mean. Kinds of fruits. Say, you think Bond well, minced Sophie's voice to lure Rosemary to the back mean. or mimicked Ro uh, Sophie's voice? <laughs> Sorry, Bonnie. My bad. Would make the sense. Yeah, no. All right, Pete. Yo, thank you so much for the sub. I uh, I made a video on. Yo, Billy! Well, what are we for me? Have you watched The Walton Falls 4? Have I watched The Walton Falls 4? I've studied that. <laughs> uh, no, but basically, um, I have I have a theory all based on so Rosemary's death. It's like probably my, I think it's my most recent video. If you want to hear my thoughts on that, definitely go check that video out. Hmm. You know, something I like about the game is the, uh, the artwork. Your mom's I don't know why, artwork. but there's something about it that seems uh, because you were really close to, to your mother, huh. and she drew it all. Right, I should show you the controls so you don't have a hard time. I'm really interested to see FNAF Slug's reaction to this right. video. Okay, okay, so you use this thing. Yo, it's good, Cameron. I think that's how you pronounce that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you use. Have you watched the Walton Falls one? Nah, never seen it. Yeah. Sounds like a cool I series, though. Yeah, I've played this game. This for location a while. feels too much like a Telltale <laughs> game to tell the animated the story is. Um, I I guess so. a bit of stuff. Yeah. There's some differences to it yeah, though. You can find different things yourself. It's quite cool. <laughs> I saw a ton of errors. Whoa, that looks cool. Yeah, it looks level, awesome. And it crashed a couple Do you think Rosemary found <laughs> Rocket in the Rasham before That's Bond got her? I hope again, so. That would be really intriguing. Was a beta test when we turned on the machine. Yeah, when BSI installed these machines. Apparently this video took 8 months to make, apparently. Here's the thing. Yo, Cameron, thank you so much for the sub. <laughs> Sophie, you know who makes a really good art? My mom. I won't lie, right? When I see the words my mom in full caps, all I think is, uh, is a muscle man at a regular show goes, Mom! Jumbo, if you've seen regular show, you know what I mean. If you haven't seen regular show, I just look like a dumbass. Bunny Smiles Incorporated. Have I heard that name before? Boozu is my favorite character. I mean... We should watch Vita Carnies. I have watched Vita Carnies. Vita Carnies is awesome. Muscle Man. Is that not the what green happened? the green dude at a regular Some show, right? That's his name, isn't it? Muscle Man? No. Or is that the, the green dude? Not is that not Muscle Man? Here, or am I, have I got he that wrong? Hasn't been seen around is it? Ever since have you seen, if anyone's seen regular show. Really? Yeah. The word got out quickly. You look like a dumbass. I appreciate it. I got my hair cut today and it's too short. I hate it. Well, what's it's name? so short, man. Um, Brian? Uh, my W Muscle Man reference. Well, I hope he's doing Regular right. show reference? Yeah. Well, who knows? <clears throat> Maybe he's okay. I mean, it's been a while since he was last seen, right? I always view Muscle Man's iconic uh, anyways, mom jokes. Would have found him by now. As a team with the music, art Reminds show, and spectacles in general, I think Bomb confirmed. I think someone confirmed more. that Bond likes classical music. Maybe. This young employee named Ashley, young adult, very pretty. <laughs> she became some sort of. 
No, because right, my hair was really Why? long at the top, and now it only People goes. Say she died this is probably it's far so away, so and I've I've put shampoo something. in it to make it all puffy, so it looks somewhat similar. Most but I just got like sides, and, like my the Others top was like really long. Like my top went all the way out to here before Sounds I got like cut. And now it only goes down to here. You know, it went all the way down to here. If I, you know. Yeah, in person, you probably would have noticed, I guess. Show right? bear was muscle man. <laughs> you good, this changes, right? Oh, yeah, I yeah. I'll pause it on the about, fact that that um, this this photo like anyway, changes. Anyway, so do I have to like? Do I have to go to a certain character or? The ah, Walt Foss um, is the best anti-drunk PSA in in history. Honestly, that. facts. Oh, neat. Doesn't this change now? Does it? Does it change again? Weird how she just disses her mom right now. I don't like this one. It looks boring. Aw, she's my favorite character. Oh. Okay, hold on. I saw a very good question. What are your top five analog horror series? Walton Files? V. Carnies? String Theory? I'm definitely missing a few. Greylock? And one more. There's definitely one I'm missing out, but Local 58 would be up there. Local 58 would take the fifth spot if I can't think of anything else. But yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm not. Don't oh, worry. Okay, I'm not gonna. Right. I'm not gonna warn anything. I'll. I won't say nothing. Don't worry. When a scary bit is about to happen, don't worry about it. Oh, Doctor Nowhere is up there, but it's not finished yet. But neither is Vita Carnies. But you know, there's not enough out. There's not there's not enough out for me to have Doctor like Nowhere Apple in the top too. five right now. <laughs> I am not mentioning Mandela. No. I'm not mentioning I like that. The one. No, we don't talk about that series. For obvious reasons. I haven't finished Harmony and Horror. That's uh, why I'm not going to mention that either. See, I told you this game was a little Was broken. there a face that popped I up there in the background? Hold on, let me go back there. I actually never noticed that. Was there a face there? I like the clam one. Alrighty, press this button. Was there that? something there as well? Sometimes I miss some stuff. Oh, never mind, it's just the captions. Was there a face when the Shah drawing pops up? I'm looking on OBS just in case it's uh, not right. See, I told you this game was a little broken. I can tell. I don't think so. No, there wasn't. You know, I okay. keep That's thinking fine. about bunny smiles. It sounds so familiar. <clears throat> this game is bringing back so many memories, but it's so hard to just remember exactly. Interesting. Uh, Sorry. Um, I think Jenny knows, by the way. I'm 100% that, that Jenny know. knows. All, Jenny knows 100%. However, I do, uh, I gotta do some other stuff. I got this one essay I need to finish. I'll see you around. Oh, alright. Just talk to me in case you have any questions regarding How do you game. think the burgers okay. respond yeah. burgers? Yeah. This isn't talked about enough. Honestly, that's I a great bond. question. Wait, shouldn't you be in the barn with the rest of the gang? W, Billy. W. Yeah, everything perfect. I'm supposed to solve this party, but most of the stuff I need is located in the ridiculously complex puzzles. Me when I walk into a Can biology you exam. Solve the puzzles. All right, first we need to get the party hat. Imagine Bob said no. All right, good track. Now we need. How was that little scare? FNAF slow. Oh, great. How do FNAF I... slow. How, how was that? How was that little scare? Flaming Galaxy. I'm not gonna answer that question purely because I cannot stand that situation right now. It's a disgrace to the community. But I don't want to involve myself. I know, realistically, I'm not in the community, but. I don't, I don't want to talk about that, just purely for obvious reasons. That was meant to be scary? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, I hope I'm back for the boozoo bit. Oh, you'll be fine. I 
won't say nothing for an slug. Really the my favorite character. Well, if I hit... Also, show bear. Um, can we talk about if I hit 5k subs, I have to cosplay uh, Billy the Clown? If I hit 3k, it's Boozoo. If I hit 5k, it's Billy the Clown. And I think it's... If it's like... I don't think we have a deal for 7 or 10k, but you know. This game is very broken. More than I thought. If she was protecting her, then why did you take the arcade cabinet? Fair. I, I never found this part scary. This part is like the like the tame part of the video. It eases you into it. Then Boozu hits you like a goddamn truck. Do I have to? I'm gonna read the FNAF books later on. I'm gonna, I'll have to make my video for next for tomorrow's video, and then I'll read the FNAF books. I bet you I would lose Exos now to a to a this thing. At 7k, dress as uh, like Bond. I'll dress up as like Wonderland Bond, no problem. That's just a shirt and tie. But I'll do face makeup to make it look cooler. Oh, I forgot about Rosemary's part in this video. Oh god. Oh god, I forgot about that part. How do I forget about that part? There we go. Yeah, monster, that's my same opinion as me. If you win, I'll donate 50 euro. What What will I win? What do you mean? What do I win? The pumpkin rabbit is the goat. Kyle, can you even do makeup? Katie's trying to do my makeup for the last, like, week. I'm just not like, letting her do my makeup. Not a chance. What's I don't that? do makeup. I can do blood, though. Jenny? Christ. Never mind. Never mind. Walton Goo is the key to immortality. Can we just... Can we just talk That's about exactly that? Happened happened yesterday. The rocket. Can we just talk about this screenshot of rocket right now? Christ. Screenshot of rocket. Never mind. Never. Where is it? Look at him. What exactly happened yesterday? Ugh. I don't know. The game no. just—it just, it just crashed. Happening. I was playing in the game. Hold on, just actually, story shooting. time. Uh, I told my mom about the um, the cosplaying thing as like Billy the Clown and all. My mom wants to do the cos like to paint like to do the Billy the Clown costume as like on a stream. If that makes any sense, like she wants to literally do the white clown makeup on stream. I don't know how I feel about it. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, if I hit three K, I have to dress up as Boozoo. So You're make sure to hit the subscribe button. Huh. Yeah, it was so weird. Like, if I was being. The, ma the massive bet we have on the channel is 50k. Huh. If we hit 50k, I have to get FNAF or Walton Files Inspired what? Tattoo. So you think this game is haunted or something? Fun fact. I, I don't know. Maybe time where so, I was yeah. playing, and there would be times where. If you want to see me get a FNAF stuff, or Walton Files style the tattoo, game to glitch and hit that display subscribe some bizarre visuals and stuff. Anyways, it's getting very late. You sure you want to play right now? Why not just wait so we can play together? Yeah, there was there's way too many FNAF books. I mean, you can go to sleep if you want, Jenny. I imagine Bond right. and the gang Good night, uh, breaking it down while Good playing Wii Sports while they're at break. Right. What? Break from Sir? killing and yes. brackets. <laughs> yeah, that flash of rocket, by the way, is crazy. Can we go back to that, by the way? Look at this. Bald caps to put in your head that were caused by his bond. Yeah, pa look at that. That's so creepy. I don't care. They can make Rocket so creepy because look at his eyes. He just stares into your soul. 
I cannot sing the al alphabet backwards. I cannot sing that backwards at all. I chance it's corrupted. Uh, don't tell me I lost all my progress, because I... I am not entering that clan level again. Yeah, Bond knows all the people. Can we talk about the eyes in the bottom left, bottom right there, by the way? The eyes. Just down here. I want the cosplay, Boozu. I want this, you to subscribe. I just have to get the costume. I really feel like That's I all. should dig deeper into this. I'm expecting to see a bunch of glitches since, like, the save file is corrupted, so, yeah. Actually, while nothing's happening right now, I'm going to take a bathroom break, right? So I'm going to be right back. Um, what's the name of it? Uh, but yeah, basically, if we hit 3k, I have to cosplay Boozu. And quite frankly, I want to do it. So, you know, hit that subscribe button. But cosplay Ed and Molly, how on God's name am I going to do that? Just w completely wear everything red? It'd be like the Blue Man Gang. Do you know that like, band who like have, they, they paint themselves blue? But, bro, what? But yeah, uh, I'll be right back. I was going to go hit a bathroom break, and I'll be right back to the with muscle. I can't tell if someone telling me to cosplay Pete the Hippo is, like, a fat joke or not. <laughs> I can't tell. Um, hold up. You should be cosplaying the crying child from the FNAF 4 ending. Is that telling me to get my head bitten? What? Hold on, okay, hold I Okay, I've missed a lot of chat. Paint your, red paint your face. Buy the rocket plush. I want to buy the rocket plush, but I don't know when it's coming out. I don't know when the plushies are coming out. So I don't know. Ugh. Nah, Pete the Hippo is beautiful. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Doesn't this, like, thing change? Just, like, piece of paper? Thing? Yeah, that changes, right? Let's go back to that. It's like a flash. All right, let's look at that. Basically, what that says is, it's very, uh, he promised to take care of the two kids during that day. He told the parents everything was going to be okay. It's sad that we can't really remember you, Sophie, but soon we'll be together forever and ever. The lovely two red, or the two lovely red children. Loki, those are bars. You can be fun time Freddy in FNAF's this location. Yeah, fair. Probably. Wait for All it. Right. Um, Let's not go. like. I need a. I need a battle, boy boys. See you later, Those man. Those are pigs. True. They are pigs. That's fair. Whoa. Jack Walton equals Pete the Hippo. I don't think so. Not exactly. Why does Bunny go red there? Actually, I never noticed that. It could be Ashley. Right. Bro, what are these questions? Ashley gets her face torn apart, dude. Okay, so, first of all, do not open the cages unless I tell you to. Is that Bond there, by the way? I don't know, I could be seeing stuff, but anyways. 
The house has eyes. Yeah, I know, right? Everywhere has eyes in this series at this stage. Also, I just want to I just want to mention one thing. Right here. That is uh Susan. Yep. Just wanted to establish that. Oh no, Benny. What, have what you are you doing? All the pigs oh no, Benny. What have you done? Benny, you dumb bunny. Must be in love. I, oh my god, I'm whoa, sorry. the chat like I was going crazy for a minute there. Oh hey. Like There's something there, I think, right? That looks like a spring. That doesn't look like a tree. I don't know. Or mini catnap. I don't know. Each entered a different door. We'll have to find keys for each door. How can I tell? How can I tell that that's um, Susan? Uh, because that same pe uh, that same face pops up in episode two. Okay, so basically we'll have to catch the pigs. I think. Boo 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 boo. Okay. Boo. Huh. Gotta find the keys for these. The series doors. hates Susan. Yeah, that's actually true. A lot. Susan gets a lot of screen time, but in the wrong way. She gets a lot of screen time for him do for her dying. Oh, it's really sad. I noticed a few errors. Mm. Is Jack on that? Yeah, Jack was on that poster that was on the tree. I see the blue. Yeah, it was Jack's Jack missing poster. Gotta find a way to get to it though. One second. Can you hear that? There's an ice cream man outside my house at 20 to 8 at night. Someone's getting killed. Why is there an ice cream man outside my door? Am I about to get killed? I don't think so. I don't know if you could even hear the ice cream man there, but I don't know. But I could hear very clearly. Anywho's, let's continue the st stream. Wait, there was someone in the wind. There was wait, wait, wait. There was someone in the window. Was there? Oh, right here. That kind of looks like um, do you know Bond's counterpart in Boozoo's Ghosts. You know the um, is it mortality? Is it mortality? Kind of looks like that. Yeah. Oh no. Interesting. To this door. Get the key, Sophie. Hell yeah. Oh, dark, spooky room. Uh, oh, alright. My face uh... cam is covering, um, Felix, but there's a Felix poster on, on the wall right now. Um. Okay, Sophie. Oh, wait, she's going into uh, room three, by the way. Hey, there's a pig. Mortality cosplay. Bro, I can't cosplay okay. all these. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to make a uh, cosplay. I know how to look like a ringmaster because yeah, it's just a ringmaster. How am I supposed to make a co mortality cosplay? I can't make stuff. I'm not creative enough for that. I noticed that these errors act in a certain way, as if that unknown error mentioned earlier was something. Uh, so on Bunny Farm, basically, Sophie's trying to trying remember to every, to uh, but also the ghost of everyone's trying to talk something? to her, right? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Like if. Hey, are you actually watch on your PC? I I just yeah, I'm watching this on my PC. Especially because these all occurred when I interact with the characters. Could it? Have something to do with them. Yeah, Jack would be fine. I just have to get long hair. Or I've something. Let's get a wig. I've also noticed that I talk to myself a lot. But suits are expensive. <laughs> Please tell me that jump scare got someone. Please tell me that Banny jump scare got someone. Please tell me that got somebody. Please. Please tell me that Banny face jump scare got someone. Because that scared the hell out of me when I first watched this video. Please tell me that got someone. Please. I hope that got somebody. Please tell me it got someone. 
What? I hope it did. I hope it got somebody. Because it's terrifying. I'll freeze frame on it now. That is probably the... That probably is the scariest photo of Banny in the entire series, I reckon. Do you think Jack's body is stuffed in a bag or something? Um, By the time it registered it... Yeah, no, it's a really, like... It's a really quick little jump scare. Cal, your smile was terrifying. Yeah, because I knew it was coming. Because I was waiting for it. Because obviously I knew this was popping up, but like... Yeah. That's fair. Ooh, I wonder who this is. <coughs> Never heard of Susan Hey, audio log number three. Uh, <laughs> June 30th, 1974. Jeremy's birthday party finished an hour ago. I Jeremy, decided to stay of course. Now the employers clean the place. This week has uh, been uh, strange. Especially because of the opening. Uh, yep. I find it weird that they opened the place even though Mr. Wharton disappeared a few weeks ago. Yep. I hope he's doing alright. Rosemary came in today and asked if we'd seen him around. Uh, I'm pretty worried about it. Oh. Felix seems very concerned and worried too. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, anyway, the birthday party, uh, yes. Uh, everything went according to plan. Uh, this was the first birthday party in the restaurant, and I feel it turned out pretty well. Uh, I noticed a few irregularities in the stage Fair. and in the audio animatronics. As the engineer and the person who basically built the animatronics to begin with, it was easier to notice these, uh, especially in Bond. Uh, oh, interesting. Something, something fell there. off. Uh, the limbs weren't moving properly. They looked stiff and odd, mainly in his right arm. It took a few more minutes to take him to the backstage, just to make sure everything's okay. I'm the only one left. Uh, Chris left some hours ago, and Felix didn't even show up. I'll leave and close the restaurant when I'm finished. I'm sure it's not going to take long. I I'm trying to be quiet because I want everyone to experience certain things and stuff, but I, want I don't want to just read the chat and read over certain things, but... Uh, you know how there's in Walt Files 46 teaser talks with some box? What the hell is Jack and Felix hiding in there? Does it have something to do with Bond? Probably something to do with the Cyberphone console, maybe. Possibly. Get a wrench. Susan's purple, by the way. seeing that face in your nightmares chat I am waiting till the ice cream truck arrives I am <laughs> I think she looks okay to be honest by the way, that's by the way with the text that says I am still alive, but I can't move, and I'm having trouble breathing, and my stomach feels weird. That's what that says. In the by the bottom left. Uh, let me read some of the chat. FNAF slug. How was that? <laughs> um, it's the FNAF box, probably. That was part of spoiler season, so probably isn't important. Fair. Uh, do you think Bond's movement looks stiff and odd because it was someone in the costume and not the anima actual animatronic? Well, we do know there is an actual Bond costume, but I feel that Susan would know it's the costume since she made the animatronic, so that she's able to notice little movements that are wrong. I feel like she would have noticed that it wasn't the actual animatronic. Everyone keeps mentioning something being wrong with Bond's arm, including Brian. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've heard a lot of things about uh, Bond's arm. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't get why Bond killed her uh, for trying to fix some issues with him. I don't know, to be honest. That's probably... Uh, that's the only one I'm kind of, like, weird about. I don't actually know. Oh! That was disturbing, was it? Oh, you're in trouble for later on. <laughs> Wait, I've seen that image in the Tuscany documents. This? This image. Interesting. Uh, what I'm, what I am asking is how long was she lying there and why is she not in the suit? I mean, she looks already dismorphed. I'm pretty sure she's lying there overnight. I think because Bond says in episode four, um, that like out there you are suffocating, and then obviously she's killed at night because the birthday party happened earlier that day, and everything happened, and um. 
the birthday party happened that earlier that day and everyone's left and she says it wasn't going to take long so she's clearly there and then all of a sudden uh we know in episode four i'm guessing she's either put into uh uh I think she's either put into Banny later on the night or she's there in the morning. But I might guess it'd be in the middle of the night because why would the dude whoever's in Bond risk being caught in the morning, you know? But yeah. Pretty much. But yeah. There's our first achievement for the video. Is Banny. Yeah, she was closing the place down, so it was obviously late at night when it happened. Plus, we know ourselves from episode four, uh, her walking around the flashlight. I reckon she was alive inside the suit. That's why she starved. Surprise. I hope someone got caught there. I hope someone got jump scared there, considering I was talking as if it was over. I hope that got someone, because I was, like, purely trying to, like, talk in a way that the scare uh, was over. That was very confusing. Yo, hey, HL, I appreciate you tuning in. See you later, man. It felt like I was being told a story or a certain event. I mean, clearly I was. But, yeah, but, I, I reckon um, I reckon Susan was still in the suit. Yeah. Because, oh, wait, no, she was. I can tell you right now she was, because um, that's when Billy comes in. Billy replaces Banny. That's what happens, because if we look at any sort of stage performance when Billy is there, Banny's not there. So that's what happens. Uh, Banny gets taken out of commission because it was in Richie's audio logs that Banny goes out of commission for some reason, and then they bring Billy in. And so that's what happens. That's how Billy gets introduced. There you go. Boom. My and brain is working today. The pills have been making me forget a lot of stuff from my teenage years and my well, childhood. Yeah, FNAF, look, how did that jump scare deal like, with you? I started taking them for a reason. How, how, how'd you deal with that? I really don't want to think about it. I jump a lot of some catch me off guard, but it can't be an image and a bit of ambience fair. Do you think Billy was supposed to be for Sophie? Yeah, probably. If you thought Susan's part were scary. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is uh, lore. So enjoy some lore. Yeah, Billy gets added because Banny goes out of commission. Well, goes out of commission. You know what I mean. See you later, HL. I appreciate you tuning in. I'm not... I'll be real. I get a lot of hate for not reading... Uh, during the boiled one phenomenon, I'm not going to be reading here either. <laughs> but to, to put story short, this is Felix's ex-wife before she leaves him. To put short, long story short, explains his alcoholism and stuff like that. But yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's some information. If you didn't know why why Billy was added, that's why Billy gets added because of Banny going out of commission. Yeah, no, we haven't gotten to scary parts yet. By the way, I don't get that this is a style of ping pong. It can't be. It's not detailed, but she's not pixelated. I think it's based on SNA uh, SNES. Probably. Hereditary or Sinister scared you? I found Sinister funny. I don't know if that's, like, something is wrong with me, but I laughed at Sinister. I don't know if that is, makes me, like, a psychopath or something. I don't know. Also, there was a face in that photo. Like, no, I read books. I just don't like reading an analog horror. I've said that on multiple occasions. I I shouldn't be reading this. Yeah, I'm just gonna establish that. I hate like reading stories. That's why, like, when I watch certain series that are just like. Um, no voice actors and like it's just a, a big block of text I'm just looking there like oh it's just a long day like I'd rather just be like even a text to speech would be funny like better if that makes any sense so no Banny and Boozy have their own stage it was so in a spectacle Bonnie and Chow the main stage Billy shows up plus Billy was out after Banny comes back I'm pretty sure Banny went out of commission and then Billy gets added I, I don't think Banny and Billy were ever on stage yet. I know Billy has his own stage because there's a photo of that. But I know for a fact because there's 
there is images and clips of B- Billy performing on stage and Banny is never in any of them. Uh, I didn't laugh once. I was terrified. Yeah, I know. For me, I found um, Sinister very funny. I never found it scary, to be honest. Um, The first Sinister I felt was really scary. The second Sinister... I actually haven't seen the second one. Oh, what do I think of Terrifier? Have you got Spotify? Because I have a whole podcast episode on what I think of Terrifier. So that is... Yeah. Measly non-ARG fans. Someone want to tell me how Sophie is reading so fast? I mean, I read fast. But I just don't be bothered to read Analog Horror. But yeah, moving on to that, what I was... Going back to what I was saying about reading. I don't like just having to read a story. Because, quite frankly, I feel like it ruins any sort of scares. Like, realistically, if you go... Let me just explain that. The last part with Susan... If you go, oh, Susan was in the backstage. She went and she found nothing but this. And it was like a photo of Bon. And then that's how the scene ends. And like, it was like, she was found lying there the next morning. And that's how the scene ends. That's not scary at all. While they're actually showing the scene, like, with how we just saw, is way more effective. You know? So that that's the way I look at it. But I've never really liked reading in analog horror. I like even a text to speech I'd rather, you know. But yeah. That's why I got a lot of stick and hate for that with uh, the boiled one. But I was just being honest, I I don't like reading uh, in the analog horror. I love reading books. I read books all the time. I don't like reading in analog horror to be honest. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, my, my podcast is in the description as well if that introduces you. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Bon, what a wonderful surprise. I'm supposing you're here to help me set up Lily's birthday party, right? <laughs> Wonderful. You see, I need someone to help me set up the games for the party. Say, oh. why don't you help it me set up the games? straight away as well. Fantastic. Notice anything right now before well, what I are say we waiting anything. For? Do we notice anything before he popped up on screen? Let's get started. It'll be lots oh, of fun. Here we go. I I have to be quiet. I can't mention what's about to happen. I'm just gonna stay quiet. It's gonna stay quiet. Enjoy everyone. Cause I won't. I know how Boozu dies as well. I haven't heard anyone talk about it. Or Charles, should I say. Emily Brook? It's Lily Brook, no? Lily's the daughter. It's not Emily, is it? Is it Lily? That's right, Lily Again, is Charles' I daughter. I feel like this could be related to a person I'm nearly 100% trying to sure. tell the player something, maybe even a ghost, because this game really makes it Good seem luck, like y'all. the people shown on screen died. I'll explain how he dies after this scene, don't worry. I'll explain. Yeah, Charles gets divorced. I'm just, I can't say nothing, because if I say anything, I ruin it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, step right up. Get ready for entertainment like you've never seen before. Uh, Shadow Boy, that, yeah, Start that's what happens. Start with something simple. Yeah. Memorize. Take a close Someone, look at this Someone, James picture. Tracy's comment Time's is what up. happens, by Let's the way. play. I'll go more in detail, though. I'm not going to say nothing until the scene's over, because I want you all to experience this without me waffling. Because... There's people in the chat who haven't seen this, and this is my favorite scene in the entire series, so... I'm gonna shut up. Well done. Oh, dear. The 
voice actor for Boozy, by the way, is awesome. Kyle is his name. He's a super cool dude. I love Kyle. I would do anything to get an interview oh, with Kyle. God. I would do anything. Just for him to say my name in Boozy's voice. Shrek bomb tickles his face slightly. Oh dear. He got so if he got it right and he said it was wrong. Interesting. I love how FNAF Slug hasn't put anything in the chat. I'm just waiting. Well done. Oh dear. Yeah, even the way he stands when you get it wrong. Well, wrong. Congratulations! You're very good at this. Right, it's time for the real game. Let's play Spot the Differences! <laughs> little, little this one's a up. bit hard. Look at this image! For the sake of the Spot the Difference? Look at this image! Just for the sake of the Spot the Difference, I'll move my face cam. You spotted a difference! Great Good job! job. <laughs> nope, <laughs> that's not the difference. <laughs> no, nope. try it again. That's not the difference. <laughs> you spotted a difference! Good job. Good job. I love you the way he says, good job. Difference. Good job. Good job. No, nope. I love him. <laughs> that's not the difference. I love his you voice. Spotted try again. Good. good job. You spotted a difference. Good job. Let's move on to the next image, shall we? Look at this image. Look at this image. It's you Sophie. spotted a difference. Good Sophie. job. You spotted a difference. Good job. It's Sophie. Nope, <laughs> that's not the difference. Uh, try again, which You spotted a difference. Good job. You spotted you a difference. Spotted a difference. Just so let's move on to the next image. Look at this image. That is so cool you when you know what difference. happens, by the way. This Good photo job. right here is so cool when you know you what happens. You spotted a difference. Good job. Nope, <laughs> that's not the difference. Uh, try again, which... You spotted a difference. Good job. I have to be quiet. I have to be quiet. You... Hey, Charles. How you doing? Nope, <laughs> that's not nope. the difference. How you doing, Charles? <laughs> hey. How you doing? Looking like this series is really tearing you apart, huh? Congratulations! You completed Looks my... Looks like you're a bit lost for words. Now, I'm for the prizes! Music's so good, by the way. The music is so good. Charles, just walk it off, will you? You're grand, not a bother on you. You're fine. As I don't remember my face, by the way. This is kind of starting to make more sense. FNAF Slug? You still there? You still there, FNAF Slug? I'm very intrigued. So, yeah. 
Ah, zero seventeen or zero seven fourteen missing. Zero seven fourteen missing. Um, but yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I saw a lot of people say Martin says he finds it funny how people uh, say oh Charles died on Lily's birthday, and it's hilarious to him apparently. Um, I understand that it's very obvious if uh, Charles died on Lily's birthday, but I think he dies pretty much, like, after it. See, the thing is with me, right, with uh, Charles's part, it's always been really subjective on what scares you. You know, because it's the whole eyes, the repeated voice. Now, um, the whole thing was like, uh, like Lily's birthday was on the 14th. So how would he not go missing on her birthday? Um, but I'm nearly 100% sure Martin Walls is just saying it's funny to like try and get away from that. Like as if it's really obvious, like he's like, oh, no, don't think that, you know, don't think it. It could be something else. Just to when it's actually announced to what happens, it's like, oh, we did, we did know it. So you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, if you're a first time watcher, Bunny Farm. To me, I mean, as it much still hasn't gotten bad yet. Like something like this can make. <sighs> I'm really hungry, by the way. I'm so goddamn hungry. These are all faces of uh, people, people that. Hundred viewers. I I knew when I was younger. I knew these people, and for some reason, uh, Jaden, to my knowledge, FNAF still has only them. seen episode four. Or what happened I to think. them? Because I think when I, I reacted to it, they anymore. were there. I mean, maybe they are, but it's unlikely because I'm I not prepared for episode five. Them by now. Apparently, it's and a half an hour this, long. This game really tries to make it seem like these people died. Oh, I swear. Not in very pleasant ways either. Oh, really? I really don't want to think about it anymore, but. Charles yes. gets. Charles gets killed on Lily's birthday in the back room as Bond rips his face apart, rips off his frontal lips, rips, you know, like this part of your skin, he rips that off, he pierces his eyes and he mushes them together. There's Susan on the tree, by I, the way. I genuinely don't know if digging deeper he was, into When this he was cleaning up decision, after like, Lily's party, because the whole mini game is, right is setting up Lily's party and basically, um,. Uh, after when he's cleaning it up is when he gets taken out. I actually just want to go back to that flash real quick. There's still 20 minutes left, by the way. Yeah, look, there is a flash of roses around Sha. Very, very nice symbolism there. Oh, heavens, this place is so beautiful. Episode 6, Hi, yeah, Bob. apparently episode 6 will be an hour. to see you here. Apparently what it's about an hour, here? yeah. Oh, I just really wanted to check on you and see if everything is all right. Aw, that's so sweet from you. Hey, However, Ma. I already finished my tasks. I already finished my tasks. I love her voice, bro. You can check around if you whoever voice acts, oh, whoever day voice day. acts so as Shah. What would you like to play? Unbelie, I love what it. What about hide and seek? Oh, I love that game. I'll hide. He was last seen on July 14th, but he could have gone back to the restaurant in the early morning, July 15th. Yeah, true. To clean up, like. But he was killed while he was cleaning up after the party. Watching Bunny Farm for the first time. Honestly, for me, it felt like watching Endgame. It felt so long for me, because I was like, when is it actually going to end? Because, like, after each scene, you're like, damn, how long is left? And you look down, it's like 40 minutes, 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Like, that sort of stuff. It's crazy. Yeah, apparently Jack hate, r hated Richie. Need to also, for, for, lore, for lore reasons. For lore reasons, just, you know. Uh, yeah, we'll do theory crafting. I have some theories, but they're gonna just re... They're gonna be repeated theories. Just be aware of that. Bond finally showing up in an obvious place. Uh, so with Bond's killing, we know Susan's first. I'll explain this, right? In timeline, it goes Ed and Molly, Susan. Well, Ed and Molly, Jack goes missing, Susan, Charles, Rosemary. No, 
Rosemary, then Charles. And then Ashley in like eight. Ashley gets killed in like 78, 79, around that sort of area. Something around those timeline. Basically. Yeah, Richie. Apparently, Jack hates Richie, so I'm assuming Jack will kill Richie or something. Because Richie is never mentioned. Something happens to Richie. I reckon Bond takes out Richie. Those characters who we don't know of just yet, I reckon Bond takes them out. Like, for the likes of Ro- not Rosemary. For the likes of, um, uh, Richie and stuff like that, you know. Is it Charles and Rosemary? I always get them two mixed up. It's one or the other. Yo, John, I appreciate that so much, man. I appreciate you love my videos, dude. I do my best. I do my best to, like, make the videos as entertaining as possible. So, anyone who does enjoy them genuinely, I really do appreciate it. Can we see Shaw? Can anyone spot her? Uh. Richie is Shaw, confirmed. Who's Richie? He's a previous worker uh, in Bond's Burgers. He worked in the restaurant. He's not an integral character, though. He's not, like, a really... He's not a really important character, I don't think. But I'm pretty sure he gets killed off. My guess would be he gets killed off or he quits the job. It's one or the other. If you want to find out who Richie is, I have a video on it. Yeah, Richie... I'd say Richie was friends with Chris and Sophie. Because I, I reckon that, um, hold on, there's a lot of people tagging me, hold on. I reckon, um, Rose's favorite, yeah, that is true. Um, I reckon that, uh, Richie's voice messages are being sent to Sophie. Uh, what if Jack kills Richie and Richie possesses Bond? I hope not. Uh, Martin also says that Charles' death is not because of him being Lord or him being in the right place at the wrong time. It makes me think Charles was sticking out, stick, was sticking out his nose. Yeah, no, 100%. I, because it was the same with everyone. Like, realistically, so many people who, like, Ashley's the main example. Ashley went looking around the location and gets killed off. Richie's the guy who found that, yeah. Uh, Fiber Fun Tech lied to cover up as uh, I'm not giving away a bad name. Shout out, boy. Yep. Yeah. You ever, yeah, uh, re realize Rosemary's face in the grass? Yeah, somewhere down here, right? You found me. Also, can we just go back to this scene right here? Look. Do you remember Rosemary getting picked apart? Remember that? Like, when Rosemary's getting ripped apart? Exact same scene, but with Shah. Boosh. That was nice. I had so much fun uh, with you. I can't you wait for season two. It's going to be so good. I don't believe Jack will kill Rose and their employees. He yeah, exactly. I feel like it's if Jack is Bond, there's another spirit in there. Because why would Jack kill his own wife? Uh, Shah, I'm already done my task. Bond, I saw Boozy vent as an electrical. He's imposter as a most. Yeah, he made a living uh, off drugs. Yeah, I know Richie will be dead. 100%. Charles and Susan were, were close too, so maybe he went looking for Susan. Yeah, that's probably my guess. Because, like, we know in episode 4 they were really close. So, it would probably make sense. Yo, Rampito, thank you so much for the sub. Oh, that was on Twitch, nice. One specifically targets people that know about the incident. Yep, that is true. I think Sean might have found this chat. Quite possibly. Here's who lost his waffle fries. I might just max out the audio to annoy everyone. I always laugh at that scene. Am I still beautiful to you, Sophie? I know you. Found you. Oh. Notice how Sophie said, I know you. Thank you for the sub. I bond the white figure from Wonderland. True. Oh. Face reveal. Oh, God damn it.
So who told me to hire up the video? So yeah, how they're gonna do that in episode 5, dude. I have no idea. It is the best scene in the series by a... Well... Seeing Susan die in actual animation is quite cool. Hey, Showbear. FNAF Snoopy is still there, by the way. Hello. The one and come all. Welcome yeah, the to Black my Tear magic rocket. fountain of memories. Step right up and enter your most repressed experiences and get ready to be amazed by my Yeah, episode magic. 5 is going to hit me like a truck, dude. Let's take a small trip you know, it's going to be the worst part. Episode 5 is going to drop in the middle of the night for me again. And I'm going to have to watch it in the middle of the night. I won't sleep. And it's guaranteed it's going to be on a school night. I bet you anything they're going to drop uh, episode 5 on a school night for me. It's not going to be great. I'll be real. It's not going to be ideal. FNAF Snook, how do you think of that part? I told you, overall the series isn't that scary, but Bunny Farm you definitely couldn't watch before you go to bed. That's the way I look at it. When I first watched this, I was terrified, though. It also says that Showbear is Adam Molly, by the way. It's pretty, pretty, kind of weird. Episode six re revolves around Showbear. I don't, I don't think it will. Apparently, he's retconned, so I highly doubt it will be Showbear. I reckon it'll be all about Charles. Yeah, they will. Dro Hopefully, they drop it on a weekend. Hopefully. That's my old house. Yeah, I just feel bad for her, yeah. I'm so glad you're here to help me clean the car base. There's Rocket's cannon voice. Also, does he have Showbear in the background there? All that's left to do is check. No, it's not real, but I feel bad for her. Yeah, true. Same phone as the thing in the new teaser, by the way. The exact same phone. Hello? Felix. Jeff, what is it? Well, this Boss 5 will be rated so R. It has to be. But I guarantee you they won't show it. I guarantee you they won't show uh, Rosemary's kill in full. I hope I'm wrong, though. I hope I am wrong. I hope I am wrong. They have no one to pick them up. I need to stay at the workshop to finish the paperwork, and Rose is um, taking self to the dentist. We were wondering if we could pick them up for the event and take them home later. Scream's gonna give me trauma. Yeah, the screams are really bad. Yeah, if it's possible, of course. I don't think they'll show Rosemary's death in full. I think they'll do it in a certain artistic way. They'll do it in some sort of artistic way where it's like shadows or something like that, you know? Rose should be home by then. If she's not, you call me. Got it? Got it. I remember this conversation. Yeah, look, Sophie remembers this conversation. Be wary, for this memory seems to be buried deep within your mind. You must find I mean, Sophie clearly deep. stated that, hey, I, rem oh I, I remember you when Take her mom popped up, so. This, uh, this is. Just like, they're not gonna show Rosemary getting torn limb from I, limb. They won't. I, I, I can just tell you, they won't. I recognize these faces, all of them. I, I know all of them. Like, I feel that they will, like, I don't know how they're going to do Rosemary's scene. I'm going to be honest. I really don't know how they're going to do it. I'm really intrigued, though. That's the one thing. It's curiosity is killing me. Because realistically, we know what we're going to see in episode five with, like, Rosemary and stuff. Like, with that scene. And that scene, the curiosity of what's going to go down in that scene is killing me. I just want to know how they're going to do it. Brighton High Spring Park or something like that, that was. I'm just, uh, the curiosity is kidding me how um, that uh, scene is going to go down. 
They could show it in her eyes. Like, they could, like, have a close-up on her eyes or something. Yeah, it'll be, like, bro, like, YouTube will just demonetize the video. Because it'll be too gory. You can't show someone getting torn limb from limb on YouTube. You just can't. Regardless of how animated it is, I don't think you can. Like, I've never seen an analog horror that's done that. As something that's that gory, you know? I don't know. I hope I'm wrong, though. I, I hope it shows it. Because, like, realistically, why wouldn't I hope it shows it, you know? I'd say, yeah, Walton Falls 5 will come out in April or May. My guess is May, though. I said on Discord it'd be May. Yeah, actually, true point of Mortal Kombat's on YouTube, actually. Here we go. There's Adam Molly. You can see Bon here? Wait, swear. Are you actually? There? I'll be real, I wasn't really paying attention. I said this at the start of the stream that I don't normally pay attention as much. Someone tell me where. I probably will see him, actually. Paying attention. Yeah, the cries from Ed and Molly are always really bad for me. I always find them really creepy. Oh, are you on about that white, that white face that Bond walks past? Uh, if that's what you mean, yeah, I, I saw him. Yeah, the game could be Wonderland as well, that's true. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know, I, I saw it in the corner, yeah. I thought it was actually just going to be Bond just, like, standing there. I think their eyes are faintly at the top of the screen when walking. Yeah, no, they are. That's yeah. Ed and Molly. There's Felix. Felix looks so weird, dude. That's Wait. Ed and Molly. Why do you see Felix? He looks so weird. That was him standing above them. This, these scenes, dude. I'm so hungry right now. I'm going to need to have a, a break to get something to eat real quick after this video. Obviously, I'll watch the rest of Bunny Farm. There's 10 mi There's 10 minutes? Okay, I won't be able to last 10 minutes without food, dude. I'm going I'm to be dead ass with you. I need food right now. So, I'm going to leave you on a cliffhanger for like a minute. I'm going to run down. I'm going to get something to eat. Uh, I'll be like two seconds, right? Can you explain what she's trying to remember all of this, please? Um, basically, she wants to remember it. I don't think she wants to. It's just that she's intrigued because obviously she's forgotten everything. Jenny's given her the game. In her head, she's like, oh, I think I remember all this. And now she's just like hooked on it. Like, oh my God, this is my family's history. It's my family. Because obviously she's been told in the past that something's, you know, gone wrong, really. But I'm going to be gone for like legit like a minute. I just want, I'm, I'm just starving right now. It's funny, faha, rabbit, starving. I get it. Subscribe, please. I'm so funny. I'll be right back. Do not move a muscle. I'm going to be like a minute. So do not, do not go anywhere.
Okay, I think I might have missed a few things in the chat. I think I might have. How are we all doing? I'm starving, yo. Um. Hmm. Okay. Have I missed a few things in chat? I see a lot of people talking about stuff. I think I missed something. I don't know. I'm going to take like a few more bites of this and I'll continue. And I'll save the rest for after stream. Cool. I'm back. Um. We got pasta and chicken and peppers. Yeah, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Alright. Um, one more bite. Alright, where's some chicken? I need some chicken to fill me up, bro. Pause. Yeah, booze is dead. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Hold on. Nearly starved. Okay. Alright, so. Nah, nah, nah. I nearly died, but look. My life flashed before my eyes. Alright, let's continue. I should have got water. Of course I, I, of course I forgot to get water. I'm alive, dude. I think I'm alive. I don't know if I am. Yeah, but like when I was going downstairs, I was like, oh damn, we still have all of episode 4 to watch. Completely forgot about it. And I forgot how like long episode 4 is. Oh no, I just don't want the sound of me chewing to be on stream, pretty much. Because I don't want to like this, I don't want a scary thing to happen just here. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense. I love the music here. I want to say, man, you're the reason I started the studio on my, on my show. I love content, man. It's an honor to have you as a friend. It's an honor to have you support the channel. Of course, man. Glad to have you here, dude. Do you agree that would be funny? I know, but this series is scary, so having dinner at 8 o'clock is a chat thing to do. I, like, I've cut, I've tried to cut down on my eating, dude. I'll be real with you. I do, I'm doing my best to cut down on my eating. I eat way too much. Now we're playing as Adam Molly. Also, I don't want to spill any food on me on stream. Because obviously this is like... This, I don't want to stay in my uh, jumper. J just, just wanted to point this out. That's a... Uh, it looks like Boozoo. Like Charles, it looks like Boozoo. Just, just wanted to point that out. Uh, you should watch Mysterious House. Oh, I, I, I will. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Excuse my French. I'll watch Mysterious House. Why not? Should I make a Walton Files song? Question mark. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna mess. That ain't happening. I don't do music anymore. Show. Oh, it's Show Bear. Oh. I clearly need these on me then. I clearly need these on. These are 3D glasses, by the way. I wonder if they actually work. Like, I know they're 3D glasses and they should work, but I wonder if there's any 3D content I could watch with these. Excuse my French, why would that make me giggle? I don't know, I say that all the time. I have weird phrases. Here's Felix. Felix looks so weird, dude. Oh, here we go. Here we go, chat. Here we go. Don't worry, you want the 3D reenactment to this scene. 
Or made you stop making music? I just don't like how I sound on music, dude. I'll be real. Not much. I kept them from a movie. I went to go see a movie. They went to see uh, Lightyear a few years ago. Have the files been walled though? I don't know, maybe. What are you drinking? I haven't made music in so long. I have one song, that's it. No, no, Stop no, making no, music, just, you know. I'm just, it takes up a lot of time and I hate I'm my own voice as is, so. It's not that big of a deal. I don't know. Alright. Uh, uh, it's an I don't know, is it? Oh, we're, we're almost there. Oh, do you think you're driving too fast? Listen, I'm just... Yeah, Felix uh, didn't die, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm just trying to get you to... Uh, I'm just trying I don't to get know you how. to home quickly, alright? Um, yeah, I'm the one class 3 is so I much just, hidden stuff. So much hidden I'm stuff. I'm not feeling too good right now. I really just... just I just want to lay in the bed and go to sleep. It's alright. We get that today wasn't the best. Yeah, Jack is dead at some point. Everything is gonna be okay. Poor Molly, man. <laughs> Thanks, Molly. Tear again, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Rosemary screams, we're uh, we have a close second with Felix. Showbear's arm is right here, by the way. I'll hold on. I'll continue his arm. My arm is now Showbear's arm. They found a way out eventually. Strap up, kids. We're going to Wonderland. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That might be one of the best comments I've seen. Strap up, kids. We're going to Wonderland. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. The scene with the crying red, uh, red face is a real mask, too. All practical. I know. It's awesome. Yeah, here it is. Rocket stands on two feet. Rocket is standing on business right now. Pretend I never said that. Why are they? Why are the souls red anyway? I actually don't know. Disney time. Oh, this part, yeah. yeah. Jack going crazy. Twenty-five, man. Yeah, that's Rocket, yeah. Pick up the phone. Now, I need to pick up the phone. Yeah, they died on impact. So. It's been three hours since they told you to get Ed and Molly home. One way trick to Wonderland for What things. happened to my children? If anything happened to us, you must tell me. You haven't told me in three hours. I need to know what's going on. You know what's scary? I'll explain this night. after this, right? I'll pause in a minute. What the hell is wrong with you? I... I've been trying to come back here all night. I've been calling everyone for you. Just what the hell is wrong with you? Three hours, you didn't call. I asked you to do one simple favor for me. I need to know, where are they? Where are you? I want to say one thing. You know the way, um... Jack goes, if anything happened to my children, she, you must tell me. Do you know what's the scary part about that? While he says that, Felix is burying his children. Let that sink in for a minute. When he goes, what happened to my children, you must tell me. He is burying their bodies as he announces those words. Just think about that for a minute. Let that settle into your brain for a minute. That's not all, is it? Just let that settle into your brain. something you forgot to remember. They've been waiting for you. Let, let that sink in just for a second, yeah. 
Just just for like an ounce of a second, let that sink in. Would attempt to make that song or uh, re-sing this by I, I am not hitting that note. <laughs> hey Bonnie. Hey. Boozy looks so weird here, by the way. Look at that. Boozy looks so weird, dude. And there's there's her mum. Yep, there's the mum. I don't know either, to be honest, Shadow. I don't know how he could bury them. And there's Bob. Wait for it. Three, two, one. Cue that music. <laughs> He's covered in blood, by the way. I've always found that interesting. What's he after doing? What's he done? Because he's covered in blood. I think that's meant to symbolize Wonderland. Hey, Adam Molly. And uh, yeah, that's Bunny Farm. Let me just scroll up James' comments and something We've seen the Wild Fast 4, Susan enters Wonderland with scars on her to neck, snapped up, maybe because Adam Molly are red, and injured every part of the body. Maybe. Um, another theory to why uh, Bond could be Jack, by the way, is when he goes like crazy, you know, when like, Bond's like doing all the things with his face, uh, Ed and Molly's face keep flashing. So I don't know. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, like, that scene has always confused me purely because of, like, why would Ed and Molly's face be f showing, you know? Um, hmm. But yeah, it's a little bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, we should have, um, yeah, that dude is Showbear apparently left it, left the project. But, there is still another video, a hidden one. Uh, so yeah. This is guilty. This is all about Felix. So enjoy. I won't talk because I'm going to eat during this video. So yeah. Nineteen sixty seven, god damn. Hello, my name is Felix Trankin. I just want to greet all of you to the company. Me and my friend Jack like are very Wall, excited about working with network. all of you. Here at Bunny Smiles, we believe that all it takes to achieve our dreams is hope. Would you like to achieve this dream with us? Great! As of now, our team isn't very big, just like our budget. But hey, we have hope, and in my opinion, that's all that matters. Enjoy this, chap. I eat fast anyway. I apologize. Greetings, Felix here. I really just wanted to give all of you dedicated BSI employees a small farewell message. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year's Eve. I hope to see all of you in a few months. It's crazy how far we've made it. Just everything, really. 
the Cyberfund tech deal, the Bonds Burgers project, it's incredible. I never thought I, we, would have made it far. And I'm proud of all of us. You all should feel proud too. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing all of you next year. Wasn't there something that revealed the name behind that? I think it flashes, hold on. Yeah, after the car crash. This is the guilty tape. It says guilty behind the black bar. Enjoy. Thanks, Maslow. Love you too. <laughs> Alright, it's... Yeah. <laughs> Messed up. <laughs> it, it, it's been so long since I last used one of these. Last time I used this, I was driving. In, in the same conditions. I, I, I messed up. I, I have a problem. Oh, really? You think? And, uh, and this has been a problem for so long that I, I can't even remember. The first time I, I got drunk, I, I don't remember most stuff. <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's probably why I carried this, this recorder with me. So, I don't think these tapes were ever revealed that, to anyone else, by the way. recording this in the first place. Because <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know I'll wake up tomorrow and... Thank you, John. Love you. This is all just a nightmare. <laughs> that <laughs> Molly are okay. They ain't, dude. They're dead right behind you right now. What? I reckon he's still in the car. That's why the music's playing. <laughs> but they're mad. They're not. They were just chilling. <laughs> Jack. Oh God! What am I gonna tell Jack? I have a theory for revolving around someone saying Jack or Felix and Bon are working together, by the way. I have a theory for that. that that's why I buried him. Oh, they're already buried, just, never mind. Just the idea of Jack. Seeing what happened to him. Jack's been the best friend I've ever had. I'd, I'd never do that to him. That's the only when the when the accident occurred. I just, I just panicked and I buried him in the forest. Say Juana, say Juana's forest, the forest next to the, the road, the road in which the accident occurred. I, Their vessel I, is rocket, by the way, James. I can't even, I can't remember where I buried him. I don't know, to be honest. I don't know how it can play stuff, to be honest. I really don't. So fuck. Yeah, you are, dude. I'll be real. What am I going to do now? The restaurant's going to open next month. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. The voice acting in this series is phenomenal. It really is phenomenal. <laughs> hey, Rocket. How you doing? How are ya? I'm getting the rocket plushie, by the way, I've decided. That's how it ends, right? There's still like 15 seconds. I can't remember if anything happens at the end. I just can't remember. Interesting, nothing happens. Weird. Okay, um, my theory is the whole thing of people saying Jack, or not Jack, fucking, what's his name? Felix and Bon 
are working together. Uh, I think if you're going off that theory, Felix programs Bond to kill people so he can have an excuse saying Bond killed Ed and Molly. I don't know. That that's be the first thing that my head would go to. Is that the reason why he would say he would like he would tamper with the Cyberfun console and then get Bond to kill some people just to have the excuse saying Bond ended up killing Ed and Molly. Possibly. I don't know. That'd be the first thing my mind would go to, but I'm pretty sure episode four rules out that. Of the fact that they were already buried. I don't know. Also it says that oh Felix, um like Felix like already told them. He didn't tell them, he lied. Felix is such a, a douchebag. Excuse my language, but how are you going to kill two people in the car that was entirely your fault and somehow convince yourself that you were fine? That's the whole thing with Felix. Felix is meant to be um, that whole thing where it's like, yeah, um, he's meant to be the person you're not. Like, you know what I mean? He's meant to be the person you're not supposed to like. Uh, yeah, but like we we, first, we saw something enter Bond. Yeah, we do see something enter Bond. But we see, actually, funny, we don't see someone enter Bond. We see someone approach Bond. So, yeah. But I feel that if it co- if it comes down to the Cyber Fun console was tampered with, we can probably say it was Felix. Uh, that Ed and Molly disappeared after the car crash at the death there. Yeah, I, I remember that like something would, in episode 4, or Lacrimosa would get rid of that theory, but that was the first thing my mind would go to. I don't think Felix is scary like Jack. Felix is honestly pathetic. I think Jack could have killed him. I think we we know... We know for a fact Jack has anger issues and has a gun. It would not surprise me if Jack just goes and kills Felix, and he puts him in Bon. I, I actually I couldn't I wouldn't be surprised. But anyways, we may as well move on to probably the my most rewatched episode at this stage because of how many times I've watched it on the channel. Episode four. It's a beautiful episode. This one. It's actually just a, it's just an enjoyable episode to watch. Imagine also ending where Felix wasn't drinking that night and the reason he'd answer his phone because he was stuck in traffic there at home perfectly fine. I wish that did happen because Ed and Molly did not deserve that dude. They're too adorable. Be careful if you do buy the rocket out of Plushie, there's a spirit of Ed and Molly in there. You know what I might do actually? In some videos, I might have my rocket plushie in the background, and I might just, like, try stand it up at some points. Like, I'll cut, I'll make an edit, and I'll make him stand, and I'll cut back to me making the video, and it'll be the exact same thing. Like, let's say I'm talking about a theory. I'll, like, talk about one part of a theory, and then, like, when I edit something, he'll be standing up, and I'll edit again, and he'll be sitting back down just to make a move in the background. Uh, who's Jason? Jason is Jason Pool Trick, um, because apparently... Um, Bunny Smiles Incorporated is a separate company. So you have Cyber... Fu- no, yeah, you have Bunny Smiles Incorporated, which is, I'm pretty sure, which is Jack and Felix. Then you have Cyber Fun Tech, which is Jason Pooltrick's company. However, Jason Pooltrick dies in 1952. So that's where this dude Norman comes into it. Norman Pooltrick, which is Jason's son, who takes over the co- uh, who takes over the company. I'm pretty sure, but Cyber Fun Tech is... Um, uh, Felix and all. Uh, somebody said that a lot of people actually regret committing at the last moment, just like what happens to Felix on the cliff. Although he survived, I mean, yeah, that's 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 true. I'm not gonna talk about that sort of thing because mental health is a, a hits a little bit too close to home, to be honest. Uh, Sophie's saying how all she remembers is Jack's voice was was quiet, was intimidating, how he didn't uh, show bugger angry a lot. She he sounds terrifying. I mean, we know it from the phone call alone. Um, the rocket idea is funny. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, Cyberfun. Okay, never mind. So Bunny Smiles Incorporated is Jack and Felix, and then Cyberfun Tech is Jason Pudrick. Yeah, J- uh, Jason died in 1952, and um, I'm pretty sure Norman's still alive. The animation here, by the way, I will I will always be in awe over this animation. It's beautiful. It really is. Look at the way Rocket like moves. You know, like the ragdoll physics. That's how when like a doll would actually move. Let's go. This way. Look, there he is. 
Felix. I don't think Jason is Bond. It would make no sense. I think if Jason turns out to be Bond, it would make no sense, by the way. No, no offense to anyone who might think that Jason is Bond. I just realized he changed it from a first person analog horror to an animation analog. Yeah, he did, yeah. After the first episode. And second episode, technically. You know, Norman is still alive until 1982 due to his signature being alongside Felix on fight. Yeah. Bond, watch Bond boogie down right now. Ready for it? Bond is going to boogie down. Oh, he hitting that, though. Bond is hitting that. Sorry, I just had to boogie down real quick with Bond. We see Bond give Susan the vessel of Bonnie. Could Bonnie give an animal the vessel of Rocket? Possibly. Possibly. The, the thing with Bond, it's like, it seems too obvious to be Jack. Can we all agree on that? It seems too obvious that it's Jack. And I feel like Martin Walls will switch it. It seems like, it seems way too obvious to be Jack. He goes missing and then it's all of a sudden, as soon as he goes missing, the murders start happening. So, it seems a little bit too, like, you know, it seems a little bit too obvious. But, um, I wanted to, actually, you know what? Before we watch episode four, I want to talk about one thing with the Walton Falls. And that's where, that's terrifying. Um, where is it? Uh, the Walton Files. I want to talk about this. Where is it? Where's Souvenir? Can we solve Souvenir now? Do you think we can solve Souvenir now? After watching episode 4? Probably, actually. I haven't watched Souvenir since it came out. So, let's just re-watch Souvenir real quick. It's like a minute long. Um, but I'm pretty sure Souvenir, like, links with episode 4 in some way. So, that's... I was like 30 seconds old. Alright, beer bottles for Felix, yeah. The cyan, yeah. They are... They are tools representing Susan. Roses for Rosemary. And then the doll. With Bond. I've never understood what the doll represents. Maybe Adam Molly? I don't know. But yeah, I, I yeah, okay, never mind. That that video doesn't really I don't really remember much. Uh yeah, definitely. It seems like Jack's being set up intentionally to be the scary guy who went missing. It seems suspiciously convenient, but the other guy but other than being Bond, I've no idea where he went. Exactly. It's so obvious to just jump to conclusion that Jack is Bond, considering we've no like we've actually no information on um like where he could go do you know what i mean i don't know can i bonds design he's the same scared as the bonds yeah he does yeah the doll's lily do you think charles's daughter i don't know billy's on stage here right and banny isn't i think i'm nearly 100 percent sure Yeah, notice how Banny's not on stage, but Billy is. But yeah, I, I don't think it's Lily. There's the first link to the video, Lacrimosa. Boozoo. Uh, yeah, I think it's a bit too obvious that Jack would be born. I don't know. I think, like, I don't know. The whole thing with Jack being gone is why would he kill his wife? That's the way I look at it. Like, why would he kill his wife? Also, the Bond spirit. Um, the Bond spirit's voice is completely different. So. The singer of these songs just lose all his memories after getting attacked. Hopefully not. Also, you're probably wondering, oh, 
uh, Banny is there. They don't show Billy in the names of these, of these animatronics, by the way. Billy was on stage in the first clip, so obviously this is from a different timeline. Like Billy isn't shown in this little uh, montage of everybody. But he shows up at the start when they mention the showstoppers. Just gonna say that straight off the bat. Ooh, creepy. So yeah, two hours and 55 minutes, by the way. Yeah, I think Jack was originally meant to be the bad guy, but then they switched it. I reckon. Hey, Bon. Is this Bon again, by the way? Was that Bon again? This is in 72. This is before the restaurant opens. Also, it's weird how TVA is all of a sudden canon. Isn't it weird? All of a sudden, CB uh, TVA is canon. From the uh, from the mysterious house. Today, we'll take a journey That's TVA. The magic of the showstoppers it's weird. and how they were created. You might learn a thing or two about the quality of our company. Uh, Mark Walls also said that the WTBB is a flip of the Walton Files, uh, which had Felix being murdered and Jack being the killer. Interesting. I think honestly, uh, I think they're honestly going to make Jack really morally grey, possibly. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button. We're about to hit 2.5k subs, which is absolutely nuts. So if you could hit that subscribe button, I'd really mean a lot to me. The showstoppers. The, the showstoppers. Concept art uh, is yeah. a very vital part of any good design. So many different ideas to... It's weird how they uh, wait till Rosemary pops up and they don't mention Jack's name. Wait for this, hold up. And creating the designs we all know and love. There it is. Rosemary Walton, loving wife of. Is yeah. A brilliant artist with so a weird, dude. For poetry and the theatrical, and has done numerous so art weird. pieces before becoming the lead Again, artist. Again, look. PSI. Is that Bunny? Because that doesn't look like Bunny at all. But I'm pretty sure it's Bunny. Does Boozu and T uh, yeah Boozu's thing is um. Definitely, uh, Boozu is definitely the same as the, uh, the, the voice actor is the same as Boozu's, yeah. Uh, is the Walton Falls about that guy who killed his entire family turned the animatronics because his wife cheated on him and his brother? I, d I, d I don't think so. I, d I don't think so. Um, you should ask for likes and subs in your videos. I'll be real, if people want to sub to my channel, that's completely up to them. I'd obviously appreciate if they did. But, you know... Sometimes my content isn't for everyone. Sometimes. She's the one in charge well, if you like my videos, hit that subscribe button. I have a load of videos on the channel. So. I think I always had a pretty clear Maybe Felix tried to put the blame on Jack. In my mind. But it Maybe. Just sense I don't know. I wanted to make them seem appealing to younger audience. While still being simple enough. So they can be easy. Uh, by the way. Um, the, the, the way... Uh, Rosemary is the concept art and then in, in Bunny Farm in episode 3 uh, Sophie says one thing I like is the art style uh, something seems very uh, something uh, like in my memory it feels uh, really familiar to me about the concept art so obviously like she was close with Rosemary like her her eldest daughter was obviously really close to her and she saw her designs and then she's like oh it, it seems so familiar to me and then remember. she's the concept artist. It's super cool. You know? If you link the two episodes with dialogue, it's so cool. It's so clever. Bunny Smiles originally reached Cyberfront to make their blueprints Susan's the Susan's back from the dead! But we all got so invested to the idea that we decided to have a full partnership with BSI. Yo. I'm Susan Wick, the lead technical There was a face, by the way, just then. The flash. These photos are so creepy, by the way. That one of Boozu creeps me out. There's the face there again. Oh yeah, here's the face that like comes out of nowhere, by the way. The, the face on Jack's missing poster says something with uh, a scary angry face in the missing poster. The 
Yeah, I remember seeing something about uh, Felix with uh, saying how he misses his partner. There's the face, by the way. There's that face people kept telling me about. If you can see, come up here. Just, just watch here. See the way no, it's nothing is there right now. You see that? When I go frame by frame, something slowly rises up, and you can see an eyeball like right here. It's interesting. And it's the first time you can see uh, you can see Bond watching Susan, just like he said. Yeah, there's um, is that the Bond you're on about? Is that who you think Bond is? It might be. I don't know, but I feel like that would more look like Bond. I don't know. I hate the knocking here. I hate that. When Susan's getting killed behind the locker. Oh, yeah, no, that's in Lacrimosa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in Lacrimosa, I think. No? That's in the hidden video. Also, fun fact, if we go back there, um, just ever so slightly, if we go back to that message, it says, uh, Susan has been struggling to breathe, by the way. Susan has been struggling to breathe all day or something it says. Fun fact. Hey, Bon. I think they mean Bon is in spirit. Yeah, yeah. The spirit Bon. Here is where all the information on Toad is stored in the... I think Chris is going to possess Pete the Hippo. Walk, I just think Chris is going to get killed off by Bon. Exactly. I think Chris will show up in episode That's 7. How they managed to feel so to all Why does Boozoo's face have Charles written on his face? Wait, does he? No way. Where? Here. Does it? Oh, it does! Oh! That's so... That, oh my god, that's so cool. Oh, I never looked at that. Oh, I feel so dumb now. Specific people and places. Oh, that's a good spot. That's a really good spot. Who spotted that? James, what a spot. Jesus. That is a class spot. Yeah. Uh, Josephina, yeah, we, we, we see cert certain things with Susan, yeah. That, that's to put it lightly. Yeah, it's, it's crazy how Charles made him and dies in him, yeah. Oh, past two weeks? Oh, well. I was on the right track. I was I was wrong by two words. Well, one 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 word and a, a number. I was right with the number, so one word. Yay. Walk around test. I love the ca yeah, like the characters. They actually give personalities to Charles and Susan yes. here. Yes, Charles. I just told you. See? All right. All right. Yeah. Susan is like the real serious worker. Got to get this done. Come on, we have to do this. Charles, like, all right, we'll go. Like, relax. Don't take it too seriously. Don't worry. This you know what I mean? Test we need to do with the robots. Okay. All right, great. You're taking notes, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, See? Yeah. Susan's like really like got it, everything right. <clears throat> Charles, like, okay, yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. Movement. You know. Movement. All right. All right. So it's awesome. Let me get the console working. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, when Susan is looking around the room, uh, before she gets killed, play at 2.5 speed, or 0.25 speed, you'll see Bond behind the locker. Yeah, that is true, Speakman. The boozoo screams is the same as Charles, yeah. That is true. They're cut off quite early, though. Second shot, one second. I'm back. Sorry, my nan just came in to talk. Yeah, no, Charles is a really good personality, to be fair. The stream is still going, right. hell yeah. Everything seems fine so far. Should we not be so close to the table? I don't think I'm going to talk. Fuck, I'm sorry, forget. Fuck, I told you to watch for the table, man. Well, damn it. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> watch down, fuck it up. I love Where's Charles so much, Alex. dude. The this uh, episode four emphasized how much I like Boozoo because of Charles. 
Don't play Susan Seth at two times speed. Worst mistake of my life. Did Venus really tell Jack the truth? Because based on the fact he's still hiding Rocket. Nah, he didn't. It's been, I'm pretty sure it's been proven that he didn't tell the truth. I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to say that. I know, I know. I'm Look. just uh, a little worried. <sighs> did Linda call? She did, yeah. I'm going to be totally honest with him. Okay, At this point, I'm pretty sure Ed and Molly have been killed in the car crash, Is I think, Jack right? Jack or Rosemo? Nope. I don't Maybe, think we have to tell them about it either. Susan, we have to tell them. I think even Chris knows about the addiction. See, Chris shows up again here. So maybe Chris isn't a worker during Sophie's time. Maybe Chris is like a friend of Richie's. I guess, maybe. I don't know. Let's just fix some work for now, shall we? Maybe right. not. So, uh, I'm checking my notes right now. What's up to do? Well, yeah, no, they're not as scary. I told you, FNAF Slug. I told you they weren't as so scary as people think. They're scary when you watch them on your own, though, I feel. Jack brought in Molly here, and the council recognized them. Well, yeah, but we're going to do a second. Alright, this isn't during the car crash, never mind. Oh, the test we did with Sophie, right? Mm hmm. I see how the test goes. How's Lily, by the way? He's fine. Felix told the wall that's what he told the police, yeah. And he told the police the like the, not the truth. He didn't tell the police the truth. That's why FNAF got you so much with the jump scares. Yeah, that's fair, I guess. There's not many jump scares in the Walton files. I feel like the only thing that would really get you is the lighter scene. Do you know when like Bond's lighting the lighter and all of a sudden Bond pops up behind you? That's the jump scare, I guess. Yeah, Richie is definitely talking to someone on the audios. I thought it could have been Sophie, but if she's 14, it's definitely not Sophie. I think Frank's da Frank Davis is Chris's dad. Eh. I don't know. Chris will definitely show up in a future episode, though. But I heard that he's going to make an appearance in episode 7. So... Hey, Charles. Ah, great. Everything seems to be working properly. Huh. So that means no more testing for today? Yep. Yep, pretty much. Ah, uh, sweet. I could really use a beer right now. Uh, Boozu's ghost so has some jump scares, I think. I think. Uh, yeah. I can't actually remember. Hey, Molly! Molly's just chilling there, by the way. Here it is, the first. Here we go. What does that mean? That's what I heard, man. He was drunk while driving the car? Tell me your voice, all right? Look, do you know what that was some weeks ago? They didn't tell us? It was private, Charles. Only the family were there. Yep. Fuck. What's Jack holding up? I haven't heard of him in a long while. I barely even see him at work. I'm sure if you knew, but when the scene when Bond gets possessed, they play Susan's audio log from episode 2 in the background and start talking about the first birthday party. You don't think Felix's like story. I'll, I'll listen out for it. Fine, don't you? Story? I think it's bullshit. Yeah, I even Susan something knows worse. it's bullshit. Nothing worse. Meaning Susan technically knows. And also, when we hear where they are... <laughs> During this conversation where she goes, I think it's Bull. Look, he's in the bottom left. Bon. Bon is in the bottom left. While Susan clearly goes, I think it's BS. So technically she's on to it thinking that, oh no, he wasn't telling the truth. So. I don't know. <sighs> Episode 5 probably released in May. Is Sylvester, by the way. Molly and Ed. <laughs> I don't even want to think I mean, about technically they're not gone. They're just like standing across the room from you, technically. What's it doing here? Hey, let's get it here. Tell us not to know Jack O'Brien's here. Shit. I don't even want to be involved in this shit anymore. Alright, let's just try the same way. Yeah, Bond's eye is bleeding right now. Yep, it is bleeding. Let's, let's just check up on the other ones for now. That's when a rocket starts moving, right? I think. Yeah, the, uh, like I feel like 
Yeah, well, obviously Jack was going to know stuff as well, so. The whole thing I want to know is where the hell Jack is. Episode 6 is called Missing, apparently, so I don't know. I accidentally misclicked. Whoops. Accidentally misclicked. My bad. Oh, the face detection. I'm pretty sure Billy's under that sheet, yeah. Why May? Because, um... Martin Wall said something about that they're not finished yet. And also, he doesn't want to, um... To rush it as well. He also said he's, like... He's under a lot of pressure. So. I hate this scene. I hate this part. It's so creepy. And also, look where it says no faces found, by the way. Just watch that for two seconds. Just watch here. Ed and Molly. There's that face as well. I, I reckon it'll be May. The end of April, start of May. Yeah. That's the birthday party. Everything went according to plan. Yeah, first birthday party in the restaurant. Yeah, it's the same audio log. Here it is. I was hoping that the next episode would get a um, would get released before the charity stream, but I highly doubt it. Notice how the face turned into an actual face, by the way, if we flip it upside down. Let me just do that for the sake of the stream, by the way. See, the way it kind of looks like a, it's a face upside down. If we do this real quick. Can I flip it upside down for the sake of the stream? Can I? Should be able to, no? Hold up. And... Da, 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 nope. No. No, don't need that. Crop. No, no. Okay, never mind. I can't flip. But if you flip that upside down, it's like there's an eye, eye, nose, mouth. It's the same face as what showed up. Um, it's the same face because oh, never mind. It flips around properly now. Anywhere, never mind. Yeah, it's that face. Oh, see, it's that. Never mind. I didn't realize that face actually shows up properly. Never mind. There's Susan. Okay, someone told me that um, the spirit bond is here, apparently. Behind the cabinet. Behind the cabinet. Okay, gotcha. Behind a cabinet. I'm looking. Looking for him. Behind the cap there? Hey, Rocket. Behind the locker, okay. Gotcha. There's Bond. Hello? Was that him there? Is that him there? I think like the smile, the eye. Is that him there? Is that the face? Just there? I think I caught it. Is that it? I'm guessing. My guess is that's him there. I'm pretty sure. That? Right there, that like white face here. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, fair. Is he gone when she looks back? Hey, Charles. Fanny. Go back up. Ah. I kind of wanted her flashlight to go back to see if he was still there. Would have been interesting. I wonder what that banging sound is. You know the way it's like a dun, dun, dun. Listen. Da, 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 da. I'm curious what that banging is. Be interesting. Hey, Bond. 
Look at the size of them, by the way. Oh, damn. Snap neck. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, it could just be a clock, but it's interesting. It's weird, dude. Who is inside you, man? Who the hell is inside him? Play that two times speed? Okay. Two, two times speed. Alright, let me try this. I'm curious. It looks like more in real time, almost. Pause. Uh, makes Bond, and it also makes sense because Bond says that he was watching Susan one night. Yeah, because he says like you like to fix things and stuff, right? And that's what she was going to do before she died. Cal, what do you mean by that? What do I mean by what? What? What did I say? That's in real time. Huh? What did I say? I'm actually confused. I don't know what I said. Yeah, her face is a lot more messed up than I remember anyway. I'll never understand why he starts doing this, like with the sh because obviously he's doing like bravo, bravo. I I, I never really understand because then like, if it's Jack, I don't know, man. Music slaps though. Music slaps harder than Bond. Look at his face though. Oh, who's inside of you? <laughs> Fair. The animation, man, it's so good. The fact that 20 minutes goes like that. Bon and I had a tap dancing compilation or competition once. I lost. He just looks scary, dude. He just looks terrifying. I think it's a way of saying he's done such a good job. He's in proud. Yeah, possibly. He seems happy when he murders and covers his face later as if it doesn't want to hide face his actions. That's a Felix thing. That's the whole thing of why would Jack kill his friends, but I don't know. Like He goes insane very clearly. I mean, the way I look at it, if Jack has the balls to, like, basically just go away... Like, like, literally just abandon his whole family. I'd imagine he has the balls to kill them all. To be honest with you. That's the way I look at it. Yeah, true. The way he made Susan beautiful. I guess so, yeah. The voice actor for Bond also said that on Twitter. He said what? It might not be Jack. I mean, to be fair, I've leaned more towards it being Jack recently, but like now when I'm looking at it, it doesn't really make much sense. But then again, I feel that like every sort of way, it's like, I don't know, like if you look at any character, right? If you look at any character who's been associated with being Bond, 
there's always some sort of part of the theory that doesn't make sense. That he doesn't want to face his actions. Yeah. That's such a terrifying shot, bro. It's so disturbing. I mean, to be fair, that's a Felix thing to do. To not face your actions. I'm pretty sure he, do he dug his own grave. That's the, yeah, Jack is too obvious of an answer to be Bond. But then again, I don't want it to be Norman or anything. I don't think it would make sense if it's Norman Pultrick, you know? I don't know. I, I think regardless of who's inside Bond, people are going to be disappointed. Because of how long and how like popular that theory is. That's the main story of who's inside Bond. Because they do all the killing. So like, I feel if it's Felix, it's like, oh... That was kind of obvious. If it's Jack, oh, that was kind of obvious. If it was Norman, if you didn't pay attention, who the hell is Norman? If it's like, if it's just a random spirit, it's like, oh, cool, I guess. If it's a, a like a mishap in the Cyberphone console, it's like, oh, so all those theories were for nothing. It's just a random AI, you know? I feel regardless who's in Bond and whatever has like been shown, it's like it's gonna piss off some people regardless. Yeah, exactly. Norman can't be Bond, but at this stage, what's saying that he can't? You know, he could be the one in the suit because there's a there's a wearable suit of Bond. We know that there's a wearable suit of Bond after Richie's tape, so it could easily be a spirit and someone wearing the suit. I think Susan, yeah, Susan's trying to sit in the truck. Major speculation, maybe Felix killed Jack. Jack possesses Bond, but can only see through the facial recognition software, so he can't always see who he's killing. Huh. Yeah, that could be another good theory, to be fair. I don't think it's Jason Pooja or Norman. It wouldn't make any sense if it is, but then again, it'd be the same with saying, like, if you say, oh, Felix is um, Bond, like, I don't know. After the regardless of who it is, there's obviously, like, going to be speculation. I haven't been else. able to like, sleep since last week. Like, if I go and make a video, oh, this person is Bond, there will be at least two to three people in the comments who will go, no, it it's not him office. because of this reason. You know? Those were, were like, just the longest hour of my life. That's the way I look at it. I don't know. Most painful conversation I've I ever hope had. it's Jack, though. But then again, I don't know how they're going to explain why he'd kill Rosemary. Anger. To be completely honest with you. They both hate me now. Yeah, Martin Walls were just like, he won't care if people are disappointed with who Bond is. He, he just won't care. I, no I love what, Martin, he's a what's legend. Gonna happen to me now. He genuinely just doesn't my care. Life, he's such my a goat. Business, everything. He is the goat. But, but the bad. The, fact the way I'm looking at it is, there. if Jack isn't Bond, I want to know where Jack every is. Night. That's the way I look at it. Mm, where where is he going to be? He hardly just abandoned his family for no reason. Well, or he yeah, went out looking for uh, Felix. I, I told but her it's they, like, it's said they, on JackMalton.com that he's cool. still never been found. That was a lie. Because he's been missing for 40 years. I don't years know what to do with the doll. Where do I go? Who it is? And I can't get myself to get rid of it. To 2014. Like a constant reminder of this huge mistake. So realistically, he's probably now there's dead. There's nothing I can do to make it better. I just realized my face cam just glitched. But lovely. Makes sense for to be Felix, but then he's alive, so it makes sense for it to be Jason. But there's no motivation. It's just an infinite circle. Yeah, exactly. Jack only seeing through the facial tracking software could also line up why he kills Brian Stelz because he thought I was her. Yeah, with the with the purple. Like maybe he only sees colors or something. I don't know. Could be one of those things where the spirit isn't really aware of what he's doing. Yeah, true. I think Susan is doing nothing what? for Rosemary. Yeah, I think Susan's just sitting there. Like, because she's paralyzed. Yeah, well, Jack would have been gone for 50 years as of this year. So, as of August this year. So, I don't know. It's a weird way. I don't think it is, Jack, though. <sighs> Do you know if the age of Jack is displayed on the website? I'm pretty sure Jack was 40-something, I think. 
Like, the way I look at it, if his daughter, if his eldest daughter was 24 in 82, surely he would have been in his late 30s, early 40s. Felix Proper pisses me off on my days. He's trying to say, uh, to pity himself for killing and burying two kids without saying anything. He's like killing a whole family and then trying to convince yourself that you didn't, but the knife did it. Yeah, that's fair. This scene is always going to be a theory of mine. The way he, look, listen to the noises Bond makes, like the growling, and the, the noise of the body, right? Ready for this? Like the guts and all. So wait. Do you hear like all the body parts and the guts and stuff? You can hear it. I think that we're gonna see um, Sophie go into Wonderland, by the way. Because episode 7 is called Alice, and then Alice in Wonderland. I think Sophie will be in Wonderland in some way. Because I'm pretty sure it was told that someone that you can get into Wonderland when you're still alive. So I, I, feel, I feel that like um, Sophie or Jenny, one of them will pop into Wonderland in some way. And that's going to be like Alice in Wonderland. The growling is Susan's. The body automatic breathing response and even the heart stops. Oh, that makes sense then. To be fair, she can't breathe. So yeah, I guess that makes sense. To be fair, I don't really know much about like how bodies are after death. So buckle up, we're on a one-way trip to Wonderland. Low key though, I actually do want to cosplay Boozoo. I just don't have any of the things right now. It's really annoying. Like I, for a, in a way, I hope I don't do it. I, in a way, I hope I don't hit 3K before the charity stream, but I hope I do in the same way. Because, like, I just don't have the cosplay right now at all. Bond's whis uh, whistling the song, by the way. The sound Bond is making is on the bonus from season oh, yeah. That makes sense, though. Bond's noise is actually a rabbit snoring. Yeah, actually, yeah, that makes sense. I have a rabbit, and he snores like that. I have a, I do have a rabbit, and I know his name is not Bon. My sister wouldn't let me name him Bon. I know, right? I wanted to get a rabbit and name him Bon, but my sister was like, "No, we're not naming him Bon." Don't you worry. The voice acting is going here, by the way. Oh, it is. Susan, Save welcome Susan. to Wonderland. Wonderland. Your new home, Your new isn't it beautiful? Notice how the spelling is all messed up, by the way. Like, it's called Bountiful. Yeah, it's all beautiful. No, 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 no. My rabbit is called Midnight. Not He's yet, a uh, black furred least. rabbit. He's called Your Midnight. My sister named him. I want to name Bon. But hey ho. Now functionless. Out there, you're slowly suffocating. Yep. But here, you're safe. The spirit doesn't pass on quite as fast as the body does. If he mistook those people for Felix, why would he target Brian for looking like Sophie? Yeah, fair. It's a fitting name, yeah, he's a legend. He doesn't try and bite my fingers anymore, either. Yo, Silver Project, thank you for the sub. I will happily cosplay Bob. So okay, let's get it. I have a white shirt and tie. Should I just do dress up as Bob for the charity stream? After we hit, like, a certain goal. I know you like to Because I'll put like red paint right. here. As if I've been well, there. Because look, there's something so on his face. There's a wound. I. I think it's a shot a gunshot wound, because there's just a hole. I think that's a gunshot wound, because there's just a hole in his forehead. Wouldn't you like me to fix you? I'm surprised that there isn't an analogue horror for the bunny man of oh, uh, Clifton Rhodes and serial killers. Bunny seems to be very popular with the series. Yeah, true. I could help you. 
I watch all those like killer documentaries on like Netflix and stuff. So I find them interesting. Take a look. It's not surprised actually isn't one. Sure, Green Man Sam, who's in my Discord, made a Jeff the Killer tapes. It's actually pretty decent. I watched the first like, I watched the first bit of it. I didn't. I wanted to save it for a stream because you know. I want to watch it for a video to help him get uh, some views on it because it's an awesome album. Who actually is this bar a Bond spirit thing? Do we know? We have no idea. From a cocoon, he looks weird from the side, though. Very weird. Is this because he doesn't look like anyone we know? You know? To listen to me. We don't have a clue who that he is. is well, we do have a clue, you. obviously, but like, but you know, he's a spirit. What other choice do you have? A like, he's either. Well, like, I'll explain to you, like, I don't think this is Felix or Jack. I know you're scared. I was too. Yeah, the church, I guess. Everything. Will yeah, his nose looked like it was torn okay. off or something, yeah. It looks kind of like, uh, the face of him kind of looks like how Charles was killed. You know, the way that with the smile, it doesn't look like he has any front lip. He doesn't look like he has a front lip at all. So it looks how, like, Charles looked up. You know? Somebody analyzed Bond's wounds and said it looks like he was beaten up and shot through the head, hence the bullet hole and messed up the mouth. I mean, technically, Jack is the only one we have with a, a, a gun, so maybe this is someone Jack's killed. Uh, somebody animal, or that's because he's an avoid and he's the same color, is it? Yeah, true. Bond, Susan, have you ever heard of an Among Us suit? You need to vent. You're the imposter. I think the Bond spirit does haunt Bond along with someone else. Bond's behavior differs quite a bit. They have the uh the guy the guy who killed Susan may be Bond, as we can see. They they share a similar play for deme playful demeanor. That's true. Apologies for what I had to do to you. But look. The hard part is over with now. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few Besides, eggs. Besides, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Yeah, it could be someone who Jack killed. It makes sense also because then it would be like, why would Bond target his whole family? You know what I mean? Like Jack killed someone. That person went and possessed Bond. What if it's Chris? What if Jack... No. Let me pause. What if it's Richie? It might not be Richie. Because at that time, um, Jack's already gone missing. And Susan's already been killed. However, what if it's Richie? Uh, yeah, I know the credits are copyright. Don't worry. Um, what if it's Richie or Chris? Because it's stated in uh, JackWalton.com that Jack doesn't like Richie. What if Jack ends up killing Richie for whatever reason, and Richie ends up possessing Bond, therefore Richie's like, you know what, Jack, I'm gonna go back on you. Jack goes missing to hide from the fact that he killed someone, he feels guilty that he's killed someone, and R Richie's like, you know what, yeah, screw you, Jack, decides to kill his whole family and ruin his business. What if that's the case? Just a thought. Just, just, a, just a little thought. Also, this. Who's this dude? That is not anyone we've seen before, and that's clearly Bond. So if that's... Could be Chris. That It's not Richie anyway, never mind. I think my Richie theories is gone, but... It could be Chris. Who says it's not Chris? You know? Because he clearly has a bullet wound. So what if Jack, you know? What if Jack just kills someone? And they end up being Bond. You know, I don't know. But I think it could be someone Jack killed because he has a bullet hole for some reason. Richie be so boring, he's only on the website, but weird to make him the main antagonist of the whole series, just lame. Yeah, exactly. I can't afford to just buy another rabbit, by the way, if I hit 3k subs. I apologize. The, we have a bet, right? The bets on the channel are 3k subs, I dress as Boozoo. 5k is I dress up as Billy the Clown. Um... And then, I don't know what other ones we have. But the main one is if we hit 50k by the end of the year, I have to get a FNAF or Walton Files tattoo. I don't even know what I'd get for a Walton Files tattoo, to be honest. Yeah, fuck, what, yeah. The, have you ever thought um, a rocket has metal legs? The, the credits here are copyright, so I'm just going to skip through them.
that's the end of the episode. I'm just not going to play that because the credits are copyright. But yeah, um, it is weird how, um, what's the name of it? How like, uh, what's the word? Um, how Molly has to carry around a uh, rocket when he clearly has an endoskeleton and stuff. Uh, I'm just going to go on Twitter right now just in case anything was posted. Because you just never know with Twitter. Sometimes things can be posted without even noticing. Uh, let me just zoom out here. There we go. Notifications. Was there anything posted about anything at all? Possibly. Uh, no, nah, there's nothing posted at all, unfortunately. I thought it was going to be like, uh, we get like a, something, you know. Anyways. Uh, yeah, Sophie too, but Sophie got away. I mean, I think s someone who Jack killed could be Bond with the whole bullet hole. Because he has a bullet hole, like, right here. Oh, it's a reverse on my camera. But he has a bullet hole, like, here. And he has the line coming up, like, there. So, I don't know. It's weird, because, like... The whole thing with Bond is, like, it's just so confusing. Because if you think it's one person, you get told, oh, but that happened, so it could be, like, for example, the way I go, oh, it could be Richie. As soon as I say that, it's shut down immediately. So, like, there's so much different piece of information that could be this person, it could be that person. It's very, very different, and I feel like, like, it makes it a little bit harder to solve. Like, whenever I upload a theory video, any theory I really make can be shut down like that. But, like, Martin has specifically said that Jack has a gun. So, either Bond was already possessed and tried to attack Jack. Killed Jack in the process, but, you know, Jack put a bullet through his brain. I don't know. But, who do you think the white and uh, blue and white bear is? He's not canon anymore, but I had a feeling that it was going to be Jack. Um, I don't know. It looks like Bond was killed with a knife, judging by the scar. He definitely has a bullet hole, though. He just has a hole in his eye here. So he was he definitely got shot. Like there's no way there's like no knife is just gonna make a hole. You know? Greetings there, dude. The boiled one. Wait. The boiled one? The boiled one? Hey. Hey boiled one. Uh Jack yeah, Jack is dead, I'm pretty sure. At this point he would be dead because he's mi he, like he's been missing for like forty years. So I like I think even if he wasn't dead, he'd be like 70 years old or something. 60, 70. Like he'd be an old man. So, I feel that like when it comes to that, I'd be like, eh, I don't know. You know? The boiled one, it is you. <laughs> I won't lie, I did check just in case Dr. Nowhere changed his channel. I was like, wait, hold up. Um, meow. Meow, uh, uh, sorry. I doubt Jack is... Uh, wait, hold. I doubt Jack is bond considering the bullet hole placement. If Jack wanted to shoot himself, he would have done it in a more even place, not near his eye. Yeah, he probably would have put in the gun in his mouth, I reckon. Uh, I think you're right, but you can also see a bullet hole in the side of his head. If, uh, so it could be correct. It isn't him, but definitely shot someone else maybe more than once even. Uh, someone on the Walton Foss Discord said that Showbear's appearance will be explained later in the series. Oh, interesting. Have you heard about uh, the SpongeBob analog, uh, SpongeBob analog horror? I actually haven't. Uh, Jack has that Glock 17 strapped on him. <laughs> Jack probably was feeling depressed with the car accident, so he shot himself. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, is Jack dead or not? I'll be real. I don't know. Because I feel that, like, after the series, I think he is. But then again, like, it says he's been missing since 74. Like, DefineJackWalton.com says he's never seen again. So in the series, obviously, we're probably going to see him. But, like, by the rest of society, he goes missing and is never found again. Since, up until 2014. So he's been missing for 40 years. So if he's, like, 40 in 74, or, like, late 30s, early 40s, he'd be, like, in his eight, late 70s, early 80s. So he could be dead anyway, if he was still alive somehow. But So I think he dies at some point in the series. It's just when and why and how as well. Um... This I I think he's dead, but I think he haunts the tapes. I think. Um, there's a possibility that Jack shot himself, but for someone uh who's a good shot, it seems like it was a struggle to shoot him. Yeah, true. I think Jack is dead now, but not during the time of the events. Yeah, no, he's not dead during the uh the events. I don't think he dies during the events, but I think he could die by the end of the series if that makes any sense. Like I think by the time I don't think when it comes to episode seven, right? 
I don't think it's going to come to a stage where all of a sudden Sophie goes and explores the woods and she finds Jack, like her dad. I don't think that's going to be the case. Even though the fact that that's only in 82, so it's only a few years later, I don't think Sophie is going to see her dad again, if that makes any sense. I don't see that happening. Unless, obviously, Jack is born and obviously she technically sees her dad again. But you know what I mean? I, I don't think um, she'll meet her dad again. I think Jack is dead by 82, it's just how and why and when and where, obviously. Like if, he's in, if he's in K-9 or is he in the third room of K-9, I don't know. I personally don't think he's in... I think Billy is the one in K-9 room 3, though. I think the whole hide part of uh, Relocate Project is where Ashley was killed. I think Ashley was killed in the third room. That's probably where the hide was. Um, but I don't know. Cal, what are you doing for the charity stream? All right. Well, we've kind of like gone over a lot of theory video, uh, theory parts of this stream, so I might as well sp explain the charity stream. So, if, um, if people have enjoyed my content or just enjoy my videos in general, um, I'll be doing a charity stream on Friday, which is in how many days? Four, four, yeah, four days, and it's all going to be about um, mental health awareness. Basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing every single Five Nights at Freddy's game. We're probably going to theorize some Walton files. We're going to play some Walton Falls fan games, which I'm going to find in the lead-up. We're going to probably finish Bendy in the Dark Revival. I'm probably going to play every single Poppy's Playtime game again. And also, we are going to be reacting to a lot of analog horror, just horror videos in general. So, anything to do with horror, pretty much. All stuff I've covered on my channel, stuff I haven't covered on my channel. We're probably going to be uh, doing on the charity stream, you know what I mean? Um, also, if we do hit 3k... What I'm going to do is I will do my best to buy the Boozoo cosplay. It's just the red jacket. I cannot find the red jacket anywhere. Like, I can find a top hat, a mustache. I have a white shirt. I can find white trousers. Um, it's just literally finding the white over jacket for the uh, the ringmaster is quite hard. Um, but yeah, if any of that does ring a bell or like something you're interested in, um, is what we're going to be doing on the charity stream. I'm going to be finally watching Harmony and Horror on the charity stream as well. Um, but basically, uh, anything that is suggested on the Discord or in the comments in the chat on the day, I will do my best to get to watching. I will obviously have a timeline of like, okay, this is what we're going to do for the first whatever, how many hours, this for the next how many hours, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, if you do want to recommend anything for me to watch in the analog horror section of the charity stream, I would just highly recommend joining the Discord and leaving it in the horror stuff section of the Discord, because when you leave it there, I have more of a chance to remember it, if that makes any sense. I just have more chance of like actually writing it down, go, okay, now we're going to watch this and watch this and watch this, if that makes any sense at all. Um, I will do my best to like, I, there won't be much like, what's the word, just like, talking if that makes any sense in the charge stream it won't be like oh so now what do we do now it'd be literally like we finish fnaf move straight to this we do we finish a reaction move straight to that that sort of thing like, it's gonna be a 12 hour 13 hour live stream so i hope that you know can be some sort of uh dedication because i really do want to do this like the discord is in my in the description by the way of this stream by the way um or you know fnaf slug is help down put the link in the chat um but basically, um, what I've wanted to do YouTube for my full-time job ever since I was a kid. Like, literally ever since I was a really young kid. Ever since FNAF came out, really. And I was, like, seven years old. So, um, if you're not subscribed and you just want to help me trying to uh, achieve my dream of doing this full-time, uh, I really just want to do everything I can to make this a full-time thing. Because I, I don't know what else I would do job-wise. Like, for real. So, I, I really do... Um, want to make this my full-time job so you know if uh, a two subs cosplay nightmare fred bear <laughs> so yeah, if you do enjoy any sort of horror stuff uh, hit that subscribe button it really does go a long way like literally one person subscribing goes a long way a lot more uh, a lot longer than you can imagine so um i think that's where i'm going to end stream we've been live for a nice three hours and 45 minutes um, I'm going to do my best to have a, a video up every day up until the charity stream. So tomorrow and Thursday, there will be a video back to back. I might possibly do a double upload on Thursday. Possibly. I don't know. Or sorry. No, today's Monday. So for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So three videos. Um, so I'll do my best uh, to see if I can do some double uploads. 
Um, but I think that's where I'm going to end stream here. We've had like 70 to 80 to 90 viewers at a constant rate of this stream. Like, that is nuts. If we can try to get those numbers the same for the charity stream, it would genuinely mean so, so much to me. So, if you do uh, want to see anything else, I obviously will be watching the other episodes of The Walton Files that I haven't watched on today's stream. So, for the likes of Mysterious House and Boozoo's Ghost, I will be watching them on the charity stream. I just wanted to go, you know what? Like, it's cool to watch all The Walton Files. I want to obviously, you know um see if that makes any sense i want to you know watch them for the other video for the main charity stream as well um wait wait yeah no flaming galaxy you can ask any question i'm not going to go straight away don't worry um don't burn yourself out i don't get burnt out i do my best to work as hard as possible because i want to make this my it's my dream to do this so i won't get burnt out i'll do as much as i possibly can um the unused content video oh yeah that we'll watch that on the charity stream i have that written down for the charity stream so if you want to see my reaction to that tune in for the charity stream um, obviously there will be little goals as well in the charity stream so like if we i think the the ultimate goal i want to try and hit is 100 euro i want to see if we can raise 100 euro on the charity stream we'll see what happens um if we can get over that insane if we can get even on that it'd be insane any amount donated at all is crazy to me so uh yeah i will be reacting to pretty much anything if you do want to see me react to specific things, so do let me know on Discord because I have an awful memory. So just put it on the Discord. I'll have more of a chance to remember it. But thank you all so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate anyone who's tuned in for tonight's stream, especially if you have stayed all the way to the end and watched all the way through. If you're watching this YouTube video as well, if you've watched this all the way through, it'd be insane. So thank you all so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to smash the like button down below. Make sure to subscribe. We are nearly about to hit 3K. We're only like 500 subs off. Yesterday and the day before, we just hit 2K. So the fact we've gone up 500 like it's crazy the fact you've got a 500 subs and like legit like a day and a half is crazy so if you want to be a part of this community and honestly could be one of the ogs of the channel if we do go a little bit further with the uh with this channel you never know i could you know blow up in the future if you want to be here early and say you're one of the ogs i'd highly recommend hitting that subscribe button but thank you all so much for watching the charity is about a mental health organization by the way so it didn't support mental health awareness but thank you all so much for watching i will chat to you in the next video and i will chat to you on friday for the charity stream have an amazing day stay safe